What's going on, everybody? Welcome. We've got a double header on the card. Pagula just took the first set against Fernandez. We've got Sinner coming up against Griegspor. Runa just got wrecked, so Sinner's draw. Um, I don't wait. Was Runa in the same section as Sinner? I'm not sure. We'll have to double check that. But uh, Sinner, he's only lost one match this year. That was to Elkras last week. So let's see whether or not Sinner can uh, continue his amazing form. Uh, against Griegspor, who uh, he has played a few times before. Actually, let's go through the preview because these guys have played a few times. So you can see there, that's the draw. Winner of this will take on either O'Connell or Dam in the fourth round. So the winner of this would probably be liking their chances, making it to the uh, to the semis, uh, to the quarterfinal shot, sorry. Uh, of course, Paul pulling up with uh, with an injury, Tiafo losing, and then Griegspor getting through Mickelson. Very close match the other day. Talon Griegsport, 26 in the world, 27-year-old from Netherlands, 6 for 2 right-handed, 9 wins, 6 losses on the year, has two titles to his name uh, in his career, and his form recently has been a bit 50-50. And Yannick Sinner, number 3 in the world, 22-year-old from Italy, he is 6 for 2 right-handed, 16 wins, one, tie, one loss this year, two titles including the Australian Open, of course, 12 career titles, and his form has been outstanding. Now they've played three times. All indoor hard courts, all straight set Sinner, including in Rotterdam a couple of weeks ago. So you'd say that Sinner, you'd, I mean, obviously you're back in Sinner, most people, right? But you'd say Sinner on the outdoor hard courts would probably be as effective, right? As Pagula hits in the net 15 all. Um, but let's see. Maybe Griegsport can shock. I mean, it's been a bit of a shock today with a couple of results. So let's see if there is another one. We've already had Runa go down. We've already had Fritz Rublev losing in the tournament. City pass as well. Uh, so it's already been a lot of upsets. As we're back in a back end, uh, back end of forward rally, and Fernandez hits the forward end of the line wide. It's 15 30. 15 30. As Fernandez serves again. Little trouble here. For Fernandez. And we're serving out the Fauna Pagula. Back into Fernandez. Goes wide. 40 15. Sorry, 15 40. 15 40. is. Pagula gets break points to start the second. 15 40. Sir Fernandez, into the back end of Pagula on the stretch. Fernandez forehand again at the back end of Pagula. Into the front of Fernandez, who hits it wide. There's the break. Five games in a row. Pagula's won five in a row. Tabillo, by the way, is about to beat Dimi. Dimitrov's in trouble as well. It's a day for upsets, chat. All right, one love Pagula in the second. One love Pagula. Uh, first set, by the way, 11 winners, Pagula, 8 errors, 15 winners, and 16 errors from Fernandez. Grigor not looking good, yikes. Yeah, he's in trouble. Also, Murray taking on the hatches starting as well, so we'll keep an eye on him. Yeah, this is carnage. I mean, the last couple of year, uh, days have been serious carnage. All right, serving the front of Fernandez, back in at Pagula. Into the front of Fernandez on the stretch as Pagula hits back into the line of the net. Love 15. Love 15. Love 15 is. Yeah, served in the tier. Fault from Pagula. Second serve. Second serve, Pagula. Into the front of Fernandez. Back in at Pagula goes to the back end of Fernandez, but Pagula overhits it and it's love 30. Chance to get the break back. Love 30. Love 30. Serve out wide is a fault from 
Pagula, second serve. Second serve, the four to Fernandez. Great return, Fernandez. And it's love 40. Fernandez get the break back. By the way, Tabilo hasn't won yet. He's just serving for it now. But um, yeah, Dimitri in trouble. I haven't even had a chance to like look at the draw properly because we've had like you know half matches and you know there's been so many un un like incomplete matches. But we'll go through that in a second. Anyways, four line of the four end of Pagula. Pagula in the net. There it is. Break back. Fernandez one one. Winner of this plays Navarro. Goff will play the winner of Garcia Osaka, which is happening next. Uh, so there's some really crazy matches coming up in the fourth round. Uh, Sinner will play the winner of Dam or O'Connell. Uh, Dimitrov losing means that Tabillo will play Hanfman. Her catch quarter will play the winner of that match to make it to the quarterfinals and play Elkaraz. So her catch and quarter have a really good chance of making the quarterfinals. If Dimitrov doesn't come back and win, which now he will. So, all right, backhand goes in the slice of Fernandez. Drop shot Pagula is good. Fernandez gets there, but it's in the net. Love 15. A player seed in this tournament. Yeah, yeah. There's 32 seeds in in this in this tournament, both men and women. So there's uh, yeah, 32 players that have a seed. I love 15. As Fernandez serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. To the back end of Pagula. Fauna from Fernandez is on the line. And she goes down the line. 15 all. Fifteen all. And as Fernandez serves, a fault. Second serve. Second serve down the tee. The backhand of Pagula return goes to slice of Fernandez. Pagula with the forehand into the backhand of Fernandez. And Pagula with a lovely volley win on 15-30. Chance for Pagula to break again. 15 30. 15 30. As we return now, four hundred from uh, Pagula is a slice, the four of Fernandez. That's Pagula. Goes to the back end, Fernandez. Fernandez in the net. 15 40. A chance for Fernandez to, oh, sorry, Pagula to break again. Dimitrov stole the second set. Dimitrov stays in it. Dimi was down 5 2 and he came back and took the set. Well, the, uh, the tiebreaker, I should say. All right, Sinner. He's serving. And he wins the first point. 15 love. Who you got, Chad? I'm going to go Sinner in straights. I'm thinking it's going to be like a three and three. All right. 15-40 break point for Pagula. He's going to back in now from Pagula into the forehand of Fernandez. Fernandez is a wide. 2-1. Pagula takes the break again. All right. Pagula takes the break. Three breaks to start the second. Uh, let's go to the center for a second. 30, love. 30, love. As Sinner serves again. There's an ace out wide. 40, love.
What he loves is Sinner serves. Into the forehand of Greek Spore, and the winner there from uh, Sinner is too good. And it's one love Sinner. Okay. One love to Sinner. Not too bad. Sai. One dollar and ninety nine cents from Sai Sai the Puzzles Guy. Remimiber Mega Streams at RG. Twenty one five matches at once. <laughs> yeah, Mega Streams were uh, were one. Yeah, that was a one. We did that a little bit. Ah, man. Mega Streams are just too. The problem with Mega Streams is that somebody might come in for like a match, and we might just ignore that match. So. I feel like it's better to focus on, personally for me, it's better, that, uh, like I find it better to focus on like two at a time, because I can't focus on five at a time. So it does, it's a disservice to the pl people that want to watch like specific matches. But yeah, we did do a mega stream. We tried to do it, but yeah. Because if I'm, I'm, if I'm talking about Sinner, and then you want to see what's going on with Dimitrov, but I'm not even talking about him, then it's kind of a bit... Yeah, it's kind of um what's the word? It's it just spreads it too thin, you know? Anyways, four and a four and rally. There's a bit of slice there from Sinner. Into the forehand of Griegsbor, who goes down the line, and that's long, and it's love fifteen. Two matches is perfect. Double head is perfect, because I can watch we can switch between the two, but once you get to like four or five, it's like there's no uh it's not gonna happen. Okay. But we did it. I mean, it was fun for the for what it was. <laughs> All right. Greek Sport, love 15. Sinner's got the break. Oh, sorry, Sinner's got the game. Yeah, four breaks in a row for the ladies. It's not good. There's a backhand return from Sinner to the back end of Greek Sport. Backhand from Sinner again. The back end of Greek Sport goes down the line. Sinner with a forehand of the stretch. Goes up. And Greek Sport puts away the smash. And it's 15 all as Fernandez gets a 15-30. Chance for her to break back in this second uh, set. 15-30. is with a serve into the forehand of Fernandez. Forehand from Pagula into the backhand of Fernandez. Sliced into the drop shot of Pagula. Lovely drop shot. Fernandez gets there, but it's in the net. 30 all. Lovely drop shot. 30 all. Thirty all as Pagula serves again. Serving to the four uh, back into Fernandez, backhand from Pagula to the four to Fernandez. As Pagula puts up a lob, and Fernandez with a swinging volley up goes a lob again from Pagula. Fernandez with the smash. Oh, it's in the net. I think she might have lost it in the sun. The smash, the lob went up right in the sun, and I think Fernandez maybe just, maybe just mistimed it, couldn't see it properly. All right, 30-40. Sorry, 40-30. Chance to get the 3-1 lead here in this second set, Pagula. As the return goes out from Fernandez, and Pagula does get the, get the game. 3-1. As Sinner gets... Hits it long, and it's 40-15. 40-15. Drix bought a level this first set. 40-15. As he hits a lovely winner there, Sinner. Unbelievable. 40-30. Forty thirty is get another serve here from Griegspor. Also, Murray Mahatch has just started, um, and Alexandrova serving for the match against Pavlia Chankova. As we serve down here, the forehand of Sinner return goes to the forehand of Griegspor. Sinner with the backhand is a passing shot wide, and it's one one. Griegspor holds, just missed it. 
Just missed the backhand, did uh, did Sinner. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Fernandez trying to hang on here. She's down a break in the third in the second. Uh, 15 love. Fernandez serves. Into the back end of Pagula. Return in the volley of Fernandez. We hit it on the baseline for a volley. That's weird. And then hit the backhand long. 15 all. The strange shot from Fernandez. 15 all. In serving at 1 1. Has anyone hit a tweener yet? Uh, not successfully. Griggs boy hits the backhand wide on the return just. That's 15 love. All right, serve now the back of the Pagula return the net 30 15. Fernandez. Thirty fifteen, Fernandez. Fernandez serves again. And the return goes in the back end of Fernandez. Four hundred from Pagula into the four hundred Fernandez, who shanks it to the back end of Pagula. Four hundred Fernandez, the winner. And it's 40-15. Lovely shot from Leila Fernandez. 40-15. Fernandez will come back in the second set. Okay. 40-15. Sinner's got 30 love, by the way. As she serves the four to Pagula. Back in our... No, Pagula hit it long. On the return. Fernandez back end not needed. Four, uh, two, what is it? Three, two. Three, two. Pagula with a break in the second. She won the first seven, five. As uh, Sinner gets a 40 love. And he tries to get to two, one and lead again. So much going on at the moment. We've got uh, Osaka and Garcia. They're coming up soon as well. So get ready. And then round three of uh, Sviontek versus Noskova, which I'm excited to see because. The first, uh, first match was, a, was an epic. The second match was a Sviontek special. Let's see if... Let's see how Noskova recovers after losing that disappointing match uh, in the Middle East a couple weeks ago. Uh, Sinner serves out wide. Back in the Greek sport. Return is shanked into the fauna. Sinner puts it away. 2-1. Sinner with the lead. Okay. How are we doing, chat? Answer my question! The question, jerk! Dimitro breaks first game of the third. Comeback started now. Um, Sinner, most complete ATP player in his generation. Uh, no, I think I'll craft. Um, I was at Indian Wells. Sorry, my bad. We watched some of tennis. I don't know when it was. Was it Indian Wells? Okay. Makes more sense. I thought it was in... Oh, she lost to Collins in the... Was it... She lost to... She beat... Was it Collins in the Middle East? Maybe I'm getting confused. Layla, well, the queen of three setters, yeah. Sviontek wins again, I reckon. Yeah, I think so too, but it, could, it should be interesting. Because Miami's more like the Australian Open conditions than Indian Wells. Collins also Indian Wells. I thought, Co didn't she play Collins? She played Collins in some, didn't she play Collins already? Somewhere? I don't fucking know. Who's she playing? Who's she play? I don't know. Did she play somebody? Who am I? Why am I getting this wrong? <laughs> My Kemnesia is coming back. Okay, so Do Doha, she didn't play any of them. Who am I thinking, chat? Chat, I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyways. Um, yeah, it was all Indian Wells. Why am I thinking that she played people in bloody friggin' other places? All right, love 15. As Fernandez looks to break back here. He's down to set and a break. As we just said, down to see the back. And Fernandez return goes in. And Pagula in the net. Wow. That was a very poor swinging volley attempt. Love 30. Chance for Fernandez to get this break. Serving the forehand of 
Fernandez back in out of the front of Fernandez. We get into the back end of Pagula as Fernandez forward again to the back end of Pagula. Into the back end of Fernandez who overhits it. 15.30. Mahach Murray prediction. Are you, Brit wait, are you British? What do you want me to say? If you, are you British? Three sets? <laughs> 15.30. If you're British, three sets. If you're British, don't listen to this. If you're not British, then I'll tell you the real answer. As we're slice now the four and a... Uh, Fernandez backing up Pagula to the four. Fernandez, Pagula hits the four and cross court. Fernandez backhand again to the four and Pagula. Into the back of Fernandez. Goes down the line. Pagula backhand on the stretch. Fernandez cross court again to the slice of Pagula. Volley Fernandez too good. 15-40. 15-40. Break chance. Uh, back to uh, Fernandez here. All right, 15.40, chance to get back on serve. 15.40, serving to the slice of Fernandez, back in a Pagula is good, too good. Saves one, 30.40. You want Murray to win? Well, you just, you, that's great. You, yep, good. You want Murray to win? That's all that matters. You don't need to hear what I have to say. Okay. I think Mahatch will win. All right, 30 40. As we're serving the back end of Fernandez, but it's called a let. Also, Sinner's got 15 30. He's about to break. Alexandrova wins. There you go. All right, 30 40. Serve Pagula into the front of Fernandez. Great return. Pagula gets it. Into the back end of Fernandez. Again, the front of Pagula as Fernandez hits a forehand. Into the back end of Pagula sliced. That's Fernandez. Forehand again. That's a great shot. Up goes a lob from Pagula. And Fernandez with a swinging volley winner. We're back on serve. 3-3 three, three in the second. Back on serve. Also 15-40. Sinner's got a chance to break here. To start this match. 15-40. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty. As we serve again from Griegspor. Down the tee, the back in the center. Return goes in the front of Griegspor. Center with a lob. As Griegspor hits away the smash, saves one. Thirty forty. Thirty forty. With the serve coming up. 30-40. Greeks ball under pressure. Has to get the towel. 30-40. Now Chris can still improve his serve and win 33 slams. <laughs> you just you believe. You that's fine. Now it's 30-40. Serve out wide. The back end of center return goes long and it's deuce. Nice nice serve from Greek Sport. Pagula love 15, by the way, as that return goes in. The back of Fernandez who hits it out. Wow. Bad swinging volley. Love 30. Pagula a chance to get the break again. Love 30. Love 30. As we just serve again from Fernandez. As Greeks ball gets to advantage. To level that first set as Fernandez has a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Down the tee, the back end of Pagula. Return goes to Fauna Fernandez as Pagula hits the backhand slice. Again to the Fauna Fernandez. Pagula backhand again with a slice. Into the front of Fernandez. Fernandez puts it wide. Love 40. Love 40. Pagula to break again. As Sinner gets back to Deuce. 
a lovely backhand down the line. I love 40. Pagula to get the break again in the second. Serve from Fernandez. The back end of Pagula. Return goes in the front of Fernandez. Pagula four under the stretch. Goes in the back end of Fernandez. As Pagula's backhand slice. Goes in the front of Fernandez. That's a great shot. Pagula puts up a lob. Fernandez swinging volley. Too good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Saves one. 15 40. 15 40. Also, Sinner's got a break point as that goes in the net from Grigspor on the backhand. Advantage Sinner. Alexandrova just beat Pavlyuchenkova, who's going to play in the fourth round. She will play the winner of Sviantek and Noskova. As the return goes in the net from Pagula, 30-40. All right, Advantage Sinner. Happy Tennis Sunday. Hey, what's up, Julia? How you doing? All right, Advantage Sinner to break. Serve Grigspor. Into the front of Sinner. Return goes in the front of Griegspor, who hits a winner. And Sinner went the wrong way. Back to Deuce. Still break point in for Pagula. 30-40. And Anders serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. The backhand of Pagula. Return the front of Fernandez. As Pagula hits the forehand again to the front of Fernandez into the forehand of Pagula. Fernandez on the stretch, goes in the net, break again. Pagula, 4 3 in the second. I think we've had about five breaks of serve, I think, to start this match. Or to, sorry, to, uh, to start the second set. All right, Greek Sports got the advantage with an ace. So he tries to hang on. In the first part of that match, he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. In the back in the center, return is shanked wide, and Griggs will holds. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Nice hold there from Griggs for. First sign of trouble. 2 all. All right, back to Sinner. Pagula is nailing lines. Yeah, she is. She sure is. So we've got other matches happening right now. Murray Mahatch is going on. We've got a women's match coming up soon. Anaudi versus Chapo will start in the next little bit. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's it for the for the matches so far. I think doubles is happening too. Sinner hits a lovely volley. 15 love. 15 love. Garcia's playing Osaka. Not was did I say Wozniaki? Who said Wozniaki? She ain't playing. She lost to uh, somebody. Okay. Sinner serves the back in the Greek sport. Return there. Thirty love. Thirty love. Sinner hasn't lost a point on serve yet. Pagula with a set and a break here. As Fernandez hits a drop shot, Pagula gets it, and then Fernandez goes down the line. Pagula with a slice as Fernandez backhand again to the slice of Pagula into the volley of Fernandez. Pagula just gets there, but Fernandez too good puts it away. I love fifteen. As Sinner serves to the backhand of Greeks for, but it's a double fault Sinner. Get myself in there. Fifteen. 30-15. 30-15. Sinner serves again. Thirty-fifth. He serves that wide. The backhand slice of Greek Sport. Return goes in the front of Sinner. As Greek Sport's backhand goes again in the front of Sinner. Sinner in the net. It's 30 all. Bad shot from Sinner, which we don't say very often. 30 all. Was lost to Kalanina. Yeah, that's it. And then she and then Kalanina beat Sabalenka. There has been just so many delays. I can't remember if that was this week, last week, or you know, next week. Okay. 
Thirty-o. Thirty-o. Sit with a serve. Serve in the backhand of Griegsborg. Griegsborg in the net on the return. Forty thirty. Forty thirty. Sinner to take the lead again. Fernandez is a winner down the line. What a shot! All right, fifteen thirty. Huge winner down the line from uh, Layla Fernandez. All right, Sinner serves forty thirty to take the lead, and he does. Griegsborg hits it wide on the return. It's 3-2 Sinner first set. All right. Pagula serves 15-30 under pressure. First serve is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. The backhand of Fernandez. Fauna from Pagula to the backhand of Fernandez. Fernandez in the net. 30 0 30 0 30 yards, Pagula serves. In the back of Fernandez. Oh, what a return! This is going to be on Dennis TV, bro. Backhand angled cross court return. Pagula couldn't get it. And she gives her a round of applause. All right. And it's break point Fernandez to get back on serve. 30 40. Serve in the Fauna Fernandez. Backing out from Pagula to Fauna Fernandez. Pagula in trouble. She hits it though, cross court, slice from Fernandez in the net. Good counter punching there from Pagula. We get to Deuce. Remember, these two have never played before. It's a first time meeting. And so far, it's been probably what we exactly what we thought, right? I mean, is anyone shocked by what's going on? Deuce, we're serving the Fauna Fernandez, Fauna Pagula, the back end of Fernandez. And Fernandez in the net, vanish Pagula. Advantage Pagula to take the 5-3 lead in the second. Serve. To the slice of Fernandez. Return goes to Fauna Pagula. Fernandez with the slice on the stretch. Pagula puts away the easy backhand volley. And it's 5-3 Pagula in the second. And she takes... The 5 3 lead. All right. Serve now from Fernandez. She serves to stay in the set and stay in the match. Sinner, by the way, he's got 15 all here on the Greeks for serve. As we return now, that goes out from. Pagula, 15, love. Fifteen love. That's gonna serve down a T from Fernandez. That's a a let. Fernandez serves again. In the back of Pagula. Fauna from Fernandez down the line. Is a winner. 30 love. Unbelievable. A huge winner down the line. 30 love. Another serve there. Fauna Pagula on the stretch. Goes wide. It's 40 love. Forty love. Forty love. Fernandez serves to make Pagula serve this match out. Serving the backhand of Pagula. Backhand of Fernandez. Four to Pagula. As Fernandez with a four in cross court. Slice in the net from Pagula. And Fernandez holds. 
And Pagul's going to have to serve for this match. All right, by the way, Sinner. He hits it in the net and it's 3-3. Griggs for holds. All right. Griggs for holds. Okay. Five, four. Fernandez serving. Uh, sorry, Pagula serving for the match. And Sinner's got 3 3 first set. And Sinner serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve in the back of the Greeks' ball. Return is sliced wide. And it's 15. Love. Has Fernandez increased her power? It looks like it. I mean, she's always been aggressive at times when she needs to be. 15 love, Sinner. Any thoughts on the Runa loss? Sorry if you're making you repeat yourself. No, it's fine. I mean, I'm not really... I mean... <sighs> It's a, probably not a... I mean, look, Marajan's... He does that. He did that at Alcaraz, right? He, he can win crazy matches. We had a lovely volley there from Sinner. 30 love. Um, people are going to... People have already, like, just shit all over Runa because it's like, oh, he lost. How bad, you know? But... It's only his second tournament with Moritoglu. They've got to get back in a rhythm. You know? He had Moritoglu. He got rid of him. He, he had a new coach. He got rid of him. He, or he had a new coach and then they split. Like, it's going to take him and Moritoglu and Runa a little time. Also, I don't think Runa, I mean, his best results are on clay, right? So losing here, I don't think Moritoglu would be too fast. Yeah, 6-1, six, 6-1 one, six, one looks really bad. But also, Marijan, you know, just say too good, right? If he starts losing like that on clay, that's when I think Moritoglu and Runa will start freaking out. But it's like, it's clay season now. You know, it, Runa's probably not too bothered. You know, the clay is where... He's probably going, well, like, you know, Miami would have been nice to win, but I don't think, you know, I mean, there's much, so many more players ahead of Runa to win Miami, right? Sinner, Medvedev, Alcaraz, just to name those guys, right? Maybe Zverev as well, ahead of ahead of Runa. But on the clay, I think the goal for the those guys would be winning a clay court Masters. Because he was qu close twice last year as Sinner gets a 4-3. Pagula, by the way, she's about to win. There's a back end down to the back end of Fernandez. Fernandez hit a wide, 40 love. Pagula to take the straight sets win, which didn't look likely in the first set. It looked like we we're going to have a long three-setter. But Pagula, holding strong, gets the match point to take her spot in the fourth round and play Navarro. That's a very interesting matchup. Navarro versus Pagula. That could be fun. That's going to be fun. Serve down team. Into the back of Fernandez. Return the back of Pagula. Fernandez with a forehand. Into the back of Pagula. It's Fernandez into the backhand. Cross court in the net. There it is. Pagula wins. Pretty straightforward, to be honest. That second set was just like break and then over. In the end, well, maybe not in the start. It was break, 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 break. But really, didn't look like Pagula was going to lose that second set. GG's. Good win from Pagula. Now she plays Navarro, who is kind of like... Navarro is sort of like the like baby Pagula, I guess, in a way, because of the way they play. Not because their dads are rich. Because of the way they play. And also the fact that, you know, Navarro is 22 and Pagula is, you know, I think she's nearly 30. So, yeah, that's going to be an interesting match. That's kind of a battle of who's, who wants to be that counter-punching player in the top uh, out of Americans, right? Very similar, very similar matchup there. It's going to be a fun one. We'll watch that hopefully in a couple of days. But um, look, Fernandez, third round, loses a top five player. That's a good result. You know, she'll get there. She'll eventually get higher seeded. So then she won't have to play a top five player in the third round. But now Layla can go play on clay. Go focus on the clay where I think she might have a chance to do something special. She did well at the French Open two years ago. Pagula's 30. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Griggsport, by the way, is serving at 4-3 down. Sinner has the, has the break. Now, we've got Osaka taking on 
Garcia. That's coming up in a minute. We'll see when that comes on. But uh, I'll send you guys... If you're watching the Cinematch, you can stay where you are. But um, we'll get the Osaka stream up and about as well as that goes in the net from Sinner on the return. 30 love, Griggsport. Thirty love. Griggsport holding his own at the moment. Also, Murray and Mahatra in a battle. Two games all over there. Dimitrov's up four-two in the third after being two points away from losing. Right, Griggsport thirty love. As we get a return out from Sinner. 40 love. Forty love. Grixbor to level up this first set. He serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve the back end of Sinner. Return goes to the front of Grixbor. Sinner with the four on the stretch. Goes in the net. 4-4. Four, four. Griggs ball keeps holding. All right. If you want to keep watching the Sinner match, jump over here. We're going to shut down the Sinner stream and we'll get the uh, we'll, we'll get ready for Osaka in a second. So we're going to shut down the Pagula stream. We're going to keep going with Sinner. But uh, great win from Pagula. Very tough matchup. We knew that was going to be a tricky one. Could have been three sets. She gets through with traits. 7-5-6-4 uh, and she's in the fourth round. She'll play Navarro in the next couple of days. Okay. 4 4. Sinner has the, whoop, has the lead. That's 15 love. Um, we've got a forehand of backhand rally. Now from Sinner into the backhand of. Griggs Boris in it's a forehand. Get into the back end of Griggs Ball. Into the back end of Sinner as Griggs Ball hits a backhand. Get into the back end of Sinner. You know that Griggs Ball forehand and Sinner hits a slice. Griggs Ball comes in with a volley. It's a terrible volley. Sinner puts up a lob. And that's too good. That's smart. This is gonna be on Vegas TV. That's though. Alcaraz tennis there. Sinner doing lobs. And it's 30 love. Lovely smart lob there from uh, Yannick Sinner. 30 love. All right, serve again for Sinner. Thirty love. And Sinner's won six out of the seven mat uh, points that have gone over nine shots. The longer the rally goes, the better for Sinner. As we return now from Grigsboro in the net, it's forty love. What he love? And Sinner serves a fault. Second serve. In the form of Griggs ball, Griggs ball in the net. And it's 5 4 Sinner in this first set. All right, let me just fix some of this so that we know who we're watching next. But uh, yeah, Osaka versus Garcia is going to be fun. I mean, they played a few times already this year and uh, they've split the difference. So we're going to have a fun one with that one as well. Let me just fix stuff. We yeah, have some really fun matches coming up over the next few days. Sabalenka is not playing the Olympics. No, she is. She's just not playing for Belarus. She's going to be playing under a neutral flag. Um, because that's, you know, they've been banned from team uh, representing their countries, right? So they should be playing for a, uh, under a neutral banner. Whatever that would be. Whatever they'll call it. We'll find out. Um, I stepped away to feed the crows. Did you? 
Um, alright, let me just fix the... This as well, now that we know who's playing who. So yeah, the winner of this Garcia match is, and, uh, is going to play uh, Goff. So that's going to be an interesting matchup. But Griggs Force 7 to stay in the, ma uh, in the set now. Okay. It should be sweet. Um, yeah, Pagula got the win. Pagula got the dub. Yeah, Seven Langer lost, but she can still play the Olympics. I mean, winning, losing in Miami doesn't mean anything for the Olympics. All right, Griggsport 7 to stay in the set. Cinder returns the back into Griggsport, and Cinder gets there with a the slice. Griggsport gets there and puts away the smash. Cinder slipping and sliding all over the place. 15 love. 15 love. Fifteen love is Greek sports serves again. That's a fault. Second serve. Second serve into the back end of Sinner. Return goes back into Greek sport. As Sinner hits a backhand down the line. Greek sport with a forehand down the line is good. Sinner gets it with a slice. But the lob is straight to Greek sport and he puts away the smash. 30 love. 30 love. Dimitrov wins. Dimi gets out of jail. You have no life, can uh, you have no life, right? Uh, no. Well, I do. It's just tennis. So. 30 love. I mean, when you get to do the thing you love the most, uh, I mean... I get to watch tennis all the time. I mean, how that's a great time. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> tennis is life, exactly. As we're back and return now, the forehand of Greek Sport. And Greek Sport puts it away. 40 love. Forty love. I have a question. That's I don't want to hear it. I'm kidding. What is it? What's your question? 40 love. 6 serves to level this first set. As we back in return from Sinner to the slice of Greek sports. Sinner with a forehand is a winner. 40 15. 40 15. In an ideal world with no injuries, which four Czech women would you choose for the Olympics? Mukova. Krajikova, Siniakova, and Vondi. I wouldn't pick Kvitova. And I wouldn't pick any of the young players either. I mean, you could maybe pick Noskova, but I think those four are the best uh, when, they're, when they're healthy. So it goes backhand wide from center and it's 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, so... I know Krajika and Sydney Akova don't play doubles anymore, but you can put Vondi in the dubs if you need to. Mukov is a no-brainer, especially on clay. I wouldn't pick Kvitova, I think. I wouldn't pick Kvitova on clay. Nozkova and the Fruvitova sisters, I don't trust them enough. Am I missing anyone? Um, yeah, they're, they're the four, right? I mean, uh, probably the obvious answer, true, but sometimes the obvious answer is the right answer. Um, I mean, am I missing anybody? Pliskova, no. I wouldn't put Pliskova in the team. Buzkova, no. Um, yeah. Mukova in the singles, no doubt. And then you could rotate between um, Vondi or Krajikova, who are very capable on clay. Siniakova for a doubles player, and she could probably maybe pair up with Mukova, uh, with uh, Vondi. Or Krajikova if they're, if they're not, you know, if there's no beef or anything. So, uh, yeah, that's my answer, and I don't, 
I don't. I'm, I'll, I'll stick with that. That's my answer, and I'm, I'm happy with that. Love 15. Serving the fawn of Greek Sport or the fawn of Sinner. Greek Sport is the fawn of the Stretch, but it goes long. 15 all. 15 all. No, no, the, the question was if the per, if there was no injuries or pregnancies. I know, like, you can't pick. I know Kavita is pregnant. She's not going to play. But the question wasn't about. It was who can you pick if there was no if there was no one was out, and I wouldn't pick Kavita anyway, even if she was available. But in a perfect world, exactly that was the answer. Thanks for the response. Was good question. That was a good question. I mean, do you? Well, who would you pick? Who would you pick, Chad? Fifteen all. We would have served him Sinner in the back end of Greek Spore. Return the back end of Sinner. It's Greek Spore's backhand. Goes into the fauna of Sinner to the back end of Greek Spore. Sinner's backhand goes again to the back end of Greek Spore into the backhand of Sinner. Into that Greek Spore backhand. And Sinner hits a forehand inside out. Greek Spore's there. Again to the back end of Sinner. Goes down the line. Greek Spore on the forehand goes into the backhand of Sinner. Into the back end of Greek Spore. Sinner backhand again. Into the fauna of Greek Spore. Into the forehand of Sinner. And Sinner over hits it. Wow. Things are getting sketchy for Sinner now. 15.30. Chance for Greeks for to break. And then serve for the set. Alright. Serve again. As we return out the forehand of Sinner. Forehand from Greek Spore is a lob! It goes in! Sinner with a lob back! Oh no! Greek Spore smash! Sinner gets it, but he can't get it back! Wow, what a lob by Greek Spore! And it's 15-40, Sinner's in trouble! Greek Spore a chance to break! Alright, 15-40. A chance... For Greek Sport to break and serve for the set. Osaka and Garcia are about to come out on court, by the way. We'll get that show on the road in just a second. Don't worry, though. We're watching Sinner as well. We ain't leaving this match. Jesus. Serve. Down the season ace. Bang. 15. Sorry, 30. 40. 30. 40. 30-40. Still a break point here for Greek Spore. 30 40. 30 40. Break point. Sinner serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve to the fauna of Greek Spore. Return goes in. Sinner flicks it into the fauna of Greek Spore. Again to the fauna of Sinner. Who goes down the line? Greek Spore backhand. As Sinner goes again to the backhand of Greek Spore. Into the backhand of Sinner. Who goes down the line? Greek Spore gets it with a forehand. Into the fauna of Sinner. Sinner on the net. Wow. Wow. What is happening? Sinner gets broken. It's 6-5 Greek Spore. As he serves for the first set. What the hell? Cue all the comments about Sinner being overrated. Am I right, chat? Not possible. He is totally rated and very, very good. In fact, he's probably hasn't even reached his potential yet. But cue the comments. It's gonna, you know what's happening. Oh, he's not that good. He is that good. You're just an idiot. All right, six five. Greek four serving for the first set. All right, bloody hell. Bloody <laughs> yeah, put that on the bingo card. <laughs> Sin is overrated. Good luck. Okay, <laughs> he's washed, he should retire. <laughs> Telling someone they should retire, that's that's a whole thing too. Okay. Here we go. Greg Spore is going to serve this set. In fact, let's get the... Uh... Let's get the uh, Osaka... Scores going on as well because she's about to get ready. 
It's going to be a fun match. Garcia, by the way, Tate isn't wearing a headband anymore. Interesting. I mean, Sabalenka took the headband off as well a couple years ago, and she started winning slams. So maybe the headband is restricting uh, Garcia from winning slams. And now she's going to win some. Okay. Here we go. Sinner is in trouble. Sinner in trouble, which I don't think I've said much lately, ever. Sinner in trouble. Greek Sports is going to serve for the set. As he serves out while the fawn of Sinner return goes in the fawn of Greek Sport. Greek Sport hits it out, love 15. Man, oh man. We've already had a lot of upsets already today. What's going on, everybody? How's, he, how's it going? Osaka Garcia. Winner plays golf. We've got that about to start. But right now, Yannick Sin is in trouble. He's losing to Talon Grigsport, which was not expected at all. He's never lost a set off this guy. But we have had a lot of upsets. Runa lost today. Um, who else lost? We got Sabalenka yesterday. Who else lost? Fritz. As well as we had a four now from Grigsport. That goes out, and it's love 30. Chance for Senator. Get the break and go to the tie break here. Garcia and... Uh, Garcia and... Um, Osaka are just warming up. So we'll get that ready as well when it happens. Love 30. Chance for Sinner to get back on serve. And get to the tie break. As he serves out wide, Greeks were too good. Too good. And do, do, do. 1530. 1530 is another serve from Greek Spore. So don't see the Fauna Sinner return goes into the Fauna Greek Spore. Sinner to Fauna down the line. The back into Grigspore. Into the back into four and center of Grigspore gets the points and hits it out. 30 all. 30 all. There's Grigspore two points away from his first set against Sinner. 30 all. Well, we've got. Uh, Mahatch and Murray at 4-4 in the first. We'll keep an eye on them as well. As we serve it wide. An ace. Greeks ball, 40-30. A chance to take the first set here with a set point. 40-30. This was not expected at all. 40-30. Greeks ball to take the first set. So that was an ace. <laughs> Seven five Grigspor takes the first set against Sinner. What the hell? Takes his first set against Yannick Sinner. Played really well, too, in that first set. Four aces. 12 winners, six errors. And 12 winners, eight errors from Sinner. Sinner's forehand's got five errors. It's, again, not terrible. Not terrible by Sinner, but bloody hell. Just that one little slip, and that was enough for Grigsport to steal the set. Also, Garcia's going to serve first in her match, which is just about to start. She elected to serve. Bloody hell. We have had a lot of upsets, but this would be the biggest one of all. 7-5 Greeks ball. All right. Let's get the uh, let's get to the women's match to kind of preview this one. So, winner of this will play golf. You can see there Osaka took out both uh, Kochioretto and Svetolina. Garcia got a little bit of a bonus. Uh, she got a retirement in her first match against Tomova. Winner of this to play Coco Golf. 
Naomi Osaka, 29 in the world, 26-year-old from Japan. She is 5'11 right-handed, five wins, five losses in her comeback season, seven titles to her name, four of those are slams, and her form lately has been pretty solid. And Caroline Garcia, 27 in the world, 30-year-old from France. She is 5'10 right-handed, six wins, seven losses on the year, has 11 titles to her name. No slams, though. Has got the WTF Finals trophy under her belt, though. And her form has been terrible. She's only won one match in her last six. And 2-1 is the record between these two. They played in Doha a few weeks ago. Osaka got the win, but they also play in Australia. And Garcia got the win. So it's 2-1 it's one, one this year. Uh, this is the trilogy. Let's see what happens. I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go Osaka in three. I'm going Osaka in three. But Sinner is in a battle. He's going to have to win in three as well. Garcia wins the first point with an ace. 15 love. All right, 15 love. And Garcia serves again. Into the back end, another ace. 30 love. Thirty love and Sinner hits it out with a backhand. What the hell was that? Darren Cahill's talking a lot. I see a thirty love. Griswold's won thirteen of the last eighteen points as well. First serve is a fault for here from Garcia. Sinner's down love fifteen. As we have back in return from Osaka, that goes out. 40 love. Forty love is Griggsball gets to love thirty. What the hell? Love thirty. Griggsball with a lovely return winner. And Garcia wins the first game of the match. One love. Love thirty. Sin is overrated. Oh, there it is. Check. Somebody, somebody take that, put that off the bingo card. There we go, check. Somebody said it. All right, love 30 as Sinner serves in the Fauna Griggsport. Great return. Sinner gets it with a forehand into the Fauna Griggsport. Back and up from Sinner on the stretch as Griggsport hits a forehand into the Fauna Sinner. So the Fauna Griggsport hits it wide. 15 30. 15 30. All right, 15.30. Sinner serves again. 15.30. And he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Greek's ball. Back end from Sinner. The back end of Greek's ball. Sinner hits a forehand. Into the back end of Greek's ball. Sinner's backhand goes again to the slice of Greek's ball. Into the forehand of Sinner. It's a drop shot winner. 30 0. Lovely shot from Sinner. 30 0. As Osaka gets a 30 love in two seconds. All right, 30 love for Osaka. And Sinner tries to win the first game of the second. Thirty all as we serve again from Sinner. Now wide the four to Greeks for Greeks for in the net forty thirty. Forty thirty. Yeah, Sinner's only lost one match this year. As Osaka gets a good serve and gets a one one in the first set of her match. All right. 40-30, Sinner to take the first game of the second. And we return out the back end of Griegsport, and Griegsport hits it in the net. One love, Sinner in the second. All right. Garcia and Osaka will be tie-break first set, you reckon? Okay. 
By the way, Murray is 5-5 uh, five, five against Mahatch first set. There's Garcia. This is another race. Wow. Garcia, by the way, last year, one of the best servers on tour, even though she wasn't playing well. Also, the year before that, probably the best server of the year. And we're going to give out an award for server of the year at the end of this uh, end of this season, chat. So stay tuned for that. Because uh, Garcia is definitely one of the best servers on the planet. Up there with Rabakina. So she's already served three aces in the two games as we back in the net from uh, Garcia, 15 all. I said she was a good server, not a backhand, all right? So just, you know, don't come at me. Also, Chapeau and Naldi's about to start for you, all the Italians out there. Another Italian player. All right, 15 all. Garcia serves. Garcia serves a fault. Second serve. We're going to return out from Osaka to the Fauna Garcia, and we're going to find out from Osaka again. Long, and it's 30 15. Forgot Murray was playing right now. Yeah, he is uh, on court at the moment. 5 all in the first set of his match. Sinner here trying to break, I'm trying to get some sort of momentum. 30 15, though. Garcia serves the back end of Osaka. Fauna from Garcia is a winner. 40 15. 40-15. Garcia to take the lead again. Sinner and Grigsbore hitting a big rally, and then Grigsbore puts it away. God, Grigsbore is just muscling the ball against uh, Sinner. 30 love. 30 love. All right. As... He gets a 30 love. 30 love as Griggsport serves again. And now he will beat Chapo. Possibly. Chapo is good every uh, he's, I mean he's he's good, but then he you know he can be terrible. <laughs> well, like one day later. Ah, uh, 40 love Griggsport with a great body serve. As Garcia does get the lead, 2-1. In her first set against Osaka. And an ace down the tape. Griggsball, 1-1 in the second. Be a huge upset if this happened. If Sinner went down to Griggsball, considering the head-to-head -head is 3-0, considering they played a couple weeks ago in Rotterdam and Sinner smoked him, this would be huge. I mean, upset of the year? Not No, not bigger than, not bigger than Nardi, but... Top three upset of the year if it happened? What, what do you reckon, chat? I can't think of others. I mean, Djokovic losing to Nardi is upset of the year. That's not going to be beaten. Unless some guy from, like, the back ass of nowhere from a thousand in the world, that unranked player beats Novak. I mean, but this is this would be upset. So far, top three upset of the year, right? Sinner has had one loss, and that was to Alcaraz, and that's not an upset. Is it a backhand now from Sinner? Oh, what a flick backhand winner from Sinner. This is gonna be on Venice Just TV. rolls the arm over and takes a cross-court winner like it was easy. 15 love. 15 love. Lovely backhand. And Griggsball gives him a round of applause for that one. That's a good one. 15 love. Serve. He's an ace. 30 love. Sinner. Great serve out wide. What are the... Let me know in the chat. What are your upsets of the year so far for the men? For the men. Because on the ladies' side, there's a lot. Including yesterday. But what's your upset of the year so far for the guys? Like, what is? what are the top upsets of the year? Let's try and get to five. Obviously, Nardi versus Djokovic is the the obvious. That's the that's the upset of the year. But what else? As that goes, the net from Greeks for forty love. What else? Nole losing. Yeah, yeah. So that one's that one's obvious. That one's the upset of the year. Number one. Uh, forty love. For 
Sinner. Serve. Now wide the backhand of Grigsville. Grigsville in the net. 2-1 Sinner. What else? Jerry beating Alcaraz, maybe? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, that could be up, maybe. What else? Has there been any others? We're going to go through the list. Okay, so, well, Djokovic losing to, to um, Dimonor was an upset too, right? It doesn't have to be two different players. It can be the same player with two upsets, right? Dimonor beating beating Djokovic at the United Cup was a massive... That did, that wasn't supposed to happen. Sinner hasn't even lost that many, so... Yeah. What about Medvedev? What's his worst loss of the year? Has Medvedev had a bad loss? Medvedev losing in Dubai, but who did he lose to? Can't remember. Thompson beating Zverev. Yeah, that was a pretty big one. Mahatch beating Rublev. Okay, yeah. Well, Rublev lost in Indian Wells too. Lehechka beating uh, uh, Rublev might be one too, right? Umber beating Medi. Okay, but then Umber. Yeah, okay. But Umber's been good since then, right? Maybe that's not as, that's not as big of a shock, right? Now. Hindsight. Uh, 1540, by the way. Garcia's about to get the break. Osaka with the backhand. Garcia with the lob. As Osaka hits the smash. Garcia's there with the backhand down the line into the front of Osaka. Again to the backhand of Garcia as Osaka gets it, but Garcia overhits it. 3040. What else? Thompson beating Nadal. Yeah, that was a big one. We forgot about that one. Yeah, Thompson beating Rafa. That was a pretty big upset. We didn't expect that. Kazo beating Runa, probably. Yeah, that's probably a big one. I mean, a wild card beating the number uh, top 10 player is, is always going to be a huge upset. Runa beating Marajan today. Yeah, I mean, that's probably up there too, right? But yeah, that's... I mean, Djokovic losing to the lucky loser is the obvious... That's the biggest upset of the friggin' 2020s. All right. 30-40 here as we get a backhand return in the net from Garcia, and it's Deuce. Osaka hanging in. As we get to Deuce. Osaka serves again. As she tries to hang on here in the first part of this match. Sinner's trying to fight back here. After losing the first set 7-5. Osaka sits nice. Murray, by the way, serving for the first set against Mahatch. As that return goes out from Garcia and Osaka holds. 2-2 two -two. in the first. All right, back to Sinner and Grigsboy here. As Grigsboy hits a fault. Second serve, love 15. Love 15. Seven to forehand of Sinner. Return goes to forehand of Grigspor. As Sinner hits the forehand of the stretch. Into the forehand of Grigspor. And Sinner can't get that one. Poof. Grigspor down the line for a winner. 15 all. 15 all. Lovely shot from Grigspor on the stretch. This would be the worst loss of Sinner's year. I mean, it's either this or Alcaraz. And losing Alcaraz is no shame in that. 15 all. Serve. Into the forehand of Sinner. Sinner in the net. 30 15. Rublev getting defaulted was a big upset. <laughs> and Alcaraz losing to Bees. Well, both of those are like the story of the year. Funniest moment on court, probably the Bees thing, even though it wasn't funny, it was horrific, but. You know, if you watch it, it's a horror movie. But if uh, it was a, a moment, a weird moment. But then the default is probably the, one of the stories of the year. That and um, Djokovic being able to play Indian Wells, Miami. I'm probably well, actually no, it's more like last year, wasn't it? That goes out from center. It's forty fifteen. What have been the stories of the year? I mean, the Sabalenka, her you know ex partner passing away. That was a pretty big deal last week or this week. What else has been a big story of the year? 
De the default was probably the the story of the year so far, right? So we're serving now the back end of Sinner. Four now from Greek Sport to the Fauna Sinner. The back end of Greek Sport. As soon as back end goes again, the back end of Greek Sport into the Fauna Sinner. Greek Sport hits the back end again to the back end of Sinner. Slice from Greek Sport goes in. Sinner goes down the line. As Greek Sport hits a four and cross court wide. 40 30. Halep coming back. True. Halep playing again. That's actually up there too. Very, yeah, that's a good one. I can't believe I forgot about that one. Yeah, Halep getting uh, Halep's return for sure. Uh, 30 40. Chance for Osaka to break here against Garcia. As Garcia serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the form of Osaka. Backing up from Garcia to the backing of Osaka. Who hits it in the net. And we get the deuce. As that goes out from Sinner and Grigsworth levels. 2-2. Two -two in the second. Um, so much has happened. It's only March. I know, right? Crazy. Okay. Deuce here as Garcia serves again. Serving the forehand of Osaka. Who hits it wide and it's advantage Garcia. Can you predict whether Carlos will get defaulted from a match or not? Uh, he will not get defaulted. I am 99% sure of that. The 1% is luck and freakish accident. If he hit a ball and it accidentally hit somebody and that, you know, like the Djokovic thing, I would say that he does not get defaulted Unless something crazy happened. So 99% sure he won't get defaulted. And if he does, it'll be a complete random accident. As we get an ace from Garcia again. She leads 3 2 in the second. In the first, sorry. Okay. Fifteen love here, Sinner. So if it was an ace from Sinner, lovely. 30 love. 30 love. Thirty love as Sinner serves again. Serving the back end of the fault second serve. He loves Sinner serves to the back end of Greek Sport. Return goes in the back end of Sinner as Greek Sport's back end in the net. 40 love. 40 love. If Osaka wins a slam, that could maybe be story of the year. True. True that. All right. Sinner to get back the lead. So in the form of Griggs 4, Griggs 4 hits it wide on the return. And it's 3-2 Sinner in the second. All right, three games to two. Okay. Sinner with the lead. Back to Osaka. 15, love. Osaka nearly got the break in that last game. If Coco wins Miami, she'll be number two. Yeah, she will be. That's true. All right, 15, love. is going to serve now from, uh, from Osaka. Serve again. Serve in the back end of Garcia. Return goes in the back end of Osaka. Down the line is a winner from Osaka. What a pass. This is going to be on Vegas TV, bro. 30, love. 30 love. By the way, don't forget to sub if you haven't already. We're almost at 185k, which is uh, insane. Um, that's wild. That we're almost at 100k. Uh, sorry, 200k this year at some point. 
Uh, 30 love as Osaka gets a great serve again. 40 love. 40 love. As Garcia, oh, sorry, Osaka holds with a good serve. 20 minutes in, 3 3. Did Alcros lose? No. Alcros won yesterday, easily. No friendship between France and Germany? That's because, like, 80 years ago. <laughs> they were fighting in real life. Is that the winner there from Garcia? 15 love. Fifteen love Garcia, but she tries to stay in front. And Sinner hits it wide on his forehand. Fifteen love. What's the goal for the French Open? I don't know. The goal for the end of the year is two hundred K. So whatever, like we'll just keep doing, we'll watch tennis until we get to that point. And, uh, and then we'll re, and then maybe at the end of next year, quarter a mil. That'd be fun. As it returned out of the form of Greek sport and Sinner hits it in the net, 30 love. Quarter of a million, chat. That's insane. Thirty love. They serve it wide. The forehand of Sinner. Return goes down the line of the backhand of Sinner. Now to the backhand of Greek Spor. As Sinner to the backhand again. To the backhand of Greek Spor. And Greek Spor in the net. Thirty fifteen. As Garcia goes to forty love. She serves down the see the forehand of Osaka. Great return. Garcia goes in the net though, with her forehand. Forty fifteen. Forty fifteen. Garcia to take the lead again in this first set. Griswold serves an ace out wide. Love that for him. Garcia also serves an ace. Okay. Garcia is 4 3. Griswold looking to level at 3 3 in the second. Oh, by the way, dark clouds overhead. You can get stuffed. They can go away. We don't want we don't need dark clouds to get stuffed. <laughs> Let me see if there's any rain on the way. All right. Great return there from Sinner. 40 30. 40 30. Great return. Cross court winner from Sinner. 40 30. First serves a fault. Second serve. Return goes in the back end of Greek Spore. Back end from Sinner. Into the slice of Greek Spore. Hits it in the net and reduce. Um, we get to deuce. And we get to deuce as we get to serve again. From Greek Spore. In trouble now. They keep showing those dark clouds. I don't think they're as bad as it looks. There's just like a couple of big dark clouds, but I think they just look worse than they are because the sun's out. And we serve out wide. The Fauna Sinner return. Goes in the Fauna Greek Spore. He smacks it down the line for a winner. Advantage Greek Spore. Advantage Greek Spore. Greek board to get level in the second set. Serving to the back of the center. Return goes in the front of center now as Greek board's back on the stretch. Greek board with a forehand again. Goes down the line. Sinner's there with the backhand and hits a winner down the line. Sinner. And it's back to Deuce. Huge backhand from Yannick Sinner. 
We get to Deuce. Osaka, by the way, serving at 4-3 down. She serves an ace down the tee, though. 30 love. 30 love. Serve now from Osaka. That's another fault, but Grigspor serves a great serve out wide. Sinner hits it out in the return. And it's advantage. Grigspor. Okay. Advantage Grigspor to level up the second. Advantage Grigspor. 40 love here. Osaka to take the leveling game as well. There's a bit of fault from Griegspor. Second serve. Down to see the forehand of Sinner. Back and now goes into the forehand of Griegspor. But Griegspor hit it out. We're back to Deuce. We get back to Deuce. And it was just out by Griegspor. That's unlucky. You cannot be serious. So, so close. Back to Deuce as Garcia and... Uh, Osaka, sorry, levels at 4-4. I know we're not watching it. We're not focusing much on Garcia or Osaka, but that's because Sin is losing, and this is a big shock. So we... Sorry for the people that are like, hey, watch Garcia more. We will. Sin is in a bit of a weird spot, though. He's going to return now to the front of Griegspor. Front of Sinner goes out, and it's advantage, Griegspor. But don't worry. We will focus on Osaka and, and Garcia a little more. As we get towards the end of the set. Right now, Sinner is trying to get a break. As Griegsfors serves to level up the second. Serve the four to Sinner. Four to Griegsfors. And Sinner hits a pass, but it's in the net. 3-3. Three, three. Griegsfors levels. Three games all. Three games all in this second set. He won the first 7-5, Griegspor. Which was a huge surprise to all of us. Okay. Garcia with another ace. 30-15. 30-15. Garcia serves again. Into the form of Osaka, and Osaka gets a wide 40 15. Oh, there's a little bit of rain falling. A little bit of rain falling. A little bit. There's one dark cloud, and there's a little bit of rain coming from that cloud. The players are going to sit down. Center court has stopped for rain. Garcia and Osaka still going, though, as Garcia serves. A let. Griegspor and Sinner have sat down. There's a little bit of rain around. Second serve in the net from Garcia, and it's a double fault. 40-30. 40-30, Garcia trying to take the... Trying to take the lead before they sit down. Serve out wide. The fault from Garcia. Second serve. Garcia's just looking at the umpire like, what are we doing? Osaka's checking the lines. It seems like the players, the umpire's coming down now. I mean, if the players want to keep playing, the umpire should just let them play for now. Because now the umpire's getting out of the chair. It's going to rain more. And now the players are sitting down. Okay. We have rain. We have a rain delay. All players are sitting. They're on the court, though. That's good. But they're all sitting down. But it's not... It's just annoying. It is heavy-ish. But it'll pass. Alright. Players are going to leave the court, I think. For now. Yeah, the rain is annoying. I don't think it'll be too long, though, that we're off court. Alright. So both <laughs> courts have been... Well, center court, they're gone. 
Garcia and Osaka are still on court, but it's raining. It's raining enough. Osaka and Garcia are still on the court, though, so that's a good sign for that, I guess. The umpire's making decisions. Center court, they're off. They're gone. The courts are just like... They're not wet, but they're just... I mean, they're not like soaked, but... They are just... Uh, there is rain on the courts. Like drops on the courts everywhere. Not enough to... I don't think it's enough to... Uh, like it won't be a huge delay, I don't think. No, we're not going to do a tier list because they're not... Because it's not going to be... Uh, it shouldn't be long. Um, Alright. Let me just put the rain delay sign up. Alright, Garcia's wondering whether or not we go off the court. Garcia's saying we're going to wait two minutes, okay. So the ladies are waiting on court. The guys have gone off the court. The umbrellas are going down in the crowd on center court, so that's good. But Osaka's going to go talk to her coaches while they're raining. Um, Bavacina, he was getting on top in that game. Maybe. Maybe. Alright, so the players are allowed to leave the court on the ladies' court. They're about to leave, so... Osaka's going to go talk to her... Co uh, sorry, Garcia's going to go talk to her coaches behind the scenes. Um, these delays reset everything. See the way that Sloan lost yesterday after a long rain delay? Maybe. Yeah, it's not like, it's not terrible, it's just annoying. And again, like, if we were playing on clay, we'd still play. Like, this, if we, this was on clay, we would still play. But because it's not on clay, we're here. And it's still warm, which is a good thing. So if the sun comes out, the court should dry pretty quick. Yeah, this is one big cloud. So, Garcia's asking the tournament guy, can we leave the courts or we can, do we have to stay? And the guy's like, hey, you got to stay close because you might be back in... I mean, the courts are shiny now, so they're going to have to... Well, hopefully the sun comes out. And then we can... Uh, we can get things sorted. It's also delayed everywhere else. Mahatch Murray, that's been delayed. And Chapo versus Anaudi also being uh, delayed. All right. So we will uh, hold tight. I don't think it's going to be that bad. I think it's just going to be a... I mean, it's not even... Like, on my on the app, it's not even showing anything. Um, it's just that one cloud that's come over. Yeah, I mean, even if you look on, like, online, it's like... It's like one dark cloud. <laughs> All right. Just got back. Runa what? Yeah, Runa got wrecked. Rain again. Yep. Um, this will be fast. Maybe 30 minutes delay. Yeah, it should be only like 20, 30 minutes. At most, right? Once that cloud disappears, it's going to be sunny. And then the courts are... The problem is the courts are... The courts are... Um, are wet, like they're shiny wet, so they're going to have to, you know, dry them. Um, there's no puddles or anything. It's not like, you know, like the other day when it was just soaking wet, but it is, um, they are, they are slippery for sure. Um, the chair umpire says she can see blue sky behind the clouds, so they'll wait. Yeah. Yeah, they're not like... This is not like a... It's not going to like be... I don't think it's going to be too much. This is the worst 1,000 event? Well, that's what they say. 
Yeah, you can't play on a hard court if it's slippery. Yeah, the courts are shiny, which is shows how slippery they are. Can Djokovic win another slam? Yes. Yes, he can. And he will. He can and he will. WTA in Cancun was worse. Well, that's... Yeah. That's, uh... That's not a 1,000 event. <laughs> so that doesn't count. Time to get a roof. Bingo. <laughs> Mark it off of cards. What's the forecast? It's not supposed to rain today. And the forecast says that it's not even supposed to rain right now. So it's going to come... We're going to come back in... I mean, once that cloud moves, the sun's going to come out and hopefully the quartz will dry pretty quickly. They won't have to bring out the machines to uh, to fix the quartz. So we should be sweet in like the next... I'm going to guess the next like 15 minutes. Once that cloud goes away. Um... Thoughts on Tommy losing a challenger and, and a couple of days ago? Ah, uh, look, I don't have much. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I hope Tommy doesn't retire. That's the I'm, I don't want him to retire. I still think he's got some tennis left in him, but he just has no confidence right now. You know. Comments on TV say next thirty minutes. Yeah, probably in the next thirty minutes we'll be back. Uh, one of the hard court slams. I don't think Djokovic wins another Wimbledon. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, rain, how lovely. Yeah. Like, the people in the crowd are just sitting there. I mean, it's not raining enough for them to, to get off the court, so... Yeah. By the way, it is... Uh, once the clouds are gone, the sun's going to come out and just, like, burn the rain off the court. So, we... I mean, it's going to be... A, it should be a quicker return. If it was nighttime, we'd probably have to wait an hour, but... This is a day, daytime, and it's really warm, too. It's still... 28 degrees celsius right so once uh once it starts we're going to be good or once the sun comes out we're going to be good comments on i am saying the cloud will last four hours who the fuck is saying four hours that's ridiculous four hours it wasn't even supposed to rain for a minute today Four hours? You need to you need to stop listening to, to people that are saying four hours. That's crazy. They're starting to, they're just starting to dry the court right now. I mean, four hours, my ass. What do you I mean, four hours? They're starting to wipe down the court right now. They got one of those. It's, it's enough rain that they have to get one of the uh, the sweepers out, but it should be good. They're starting to clean it right now. Uh, Nole has looked older the last couple of tournaments. Yeah. It's raining here in Bolivia too. Cool. Is that, I mean, or terrible. I don't know. Is that good or bad? <laughs> which court are they wiping down? They're wiping down the Garcia-Osaka match. So they're starting to clean that court already, which means it stopped raining. So It's strange because the radar over Miami isn't showing anything. Exactly. Usually when that happens, it means that it's really, really light that it doesn't pick up on the radar. So... It might be raining and the radar says nothing, but it means it's super light that it hasn't been detected, so. Or like a spot, like a speck of rain, you know? But yeah, the Garcia match, uh, they're already starting to wipe down the courts, so. It's, uh, it's a go. And they wouldn't be wiping down the courts unless it was, uh, unless they knew that, I mean, they're going to, they're going to zoom through this court real quick. Yeah, pop-up clouds only, nothing on the radar, exactly. Will it resume now within some time? Yeah, we'll be back probably in the next 20 minutes, I would say. They've got, yeah, they've got the sweepers out on uh, on on the court, that, uh, the, the Osaka match. So that should be starting in the next 20 minutes, I would say. And if the sun comes out, it'll help even more. If the sun is there, it's, it's thinking about poking its head out, but center court will take longer because it's in the shade, but... I'm going to say the Osaka-Garcia match is going to get started in the next 20 minutes. Possibly 30 if we have to add, you know, add on a... 30 to be safe. 
Because they'll probably give it like a buffer of tw 10 minutes or something, you know? I thought my hatch Mario resumed until I realized it was from earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if the sun comes out, it's going to zap the rain real quick. Hopefully the courts aren't so as violently thunderous as your background image. Now, this is just, uh, this is fine. We're, it's not this bad. <laughs> If it was this bad, uh, we'd do a tier list. Why no closed roof today? They don't have one. Uh, they would if they could. This rain has messed everything up. Uh, look, it, has, it is what it is. Rain is rain and it sucks for tennis. That was the chair. Okay, they've got like a couple of sweepers out now. It's Osaka versus uh, Garcia. I'm actually going to start soon. Did you draw that roof yet? No, not yet. Why are you ignoring my messages? Because I'm talking to about a thousand people. Um, and unfortunately, you're not the head of the chat. So I can't read everything you say. I have to read everything that everyone says. I'm trying to do as much as I can. Um, keep writing and I might be able to reply. If I find, like, just, dude, it's not, it's not me versus, it's not me and you having a conversation and there's people watching us. You know what I mean? Uh, do you think Sinner rebounds after this? I think so. Talking to Darren Cahill now. I think Sinner's probably going to come out here and probably probably get the break early and win 6-3 and then maybe run away with the third. You can talk about how Grigsbor, how to beat Grigsbor. They can devise the plan and they can review what's happened already. You know, Sinner can go, what what happened? And Darren Kay will tell him what happened and then they can fix it out, fix it up, you know. How dare you not respond to all my messages? Yeah, God, don't get so offended. Will Shvionsek play today? Yes. She plays in three hours. She'll play in three hours. When Sinner's draw falls apart, it's not always a good thing for him. I mean, Grigspor is a... It can be tough. He has a tough opponent, Grigspor. You know, he's got a big serve, and that's always dangerous. Center court, by the way, are wiping down the courts. We love to see it. Garcia will win. Okay. Yeah, there have been a lot of upsets today, for sure. Does Kyrgios have a protected ranking? Yes. Yes. Why did Rublev lose so badly yesterday? Because of a six-hour wait. Um, no. Um, Who did he lose to again? Mahatch. Mahatch is legit. Uh, people underrate Mahatch. He, he's a bloody beast. And he can, I mean, Lehech could beat Rublev and then probably told Mahatch how to do it. <laughs> well, these Czech players are scary, you know? You think that Chris O'Connell's ceiling, what do you think his ceiling is, Chris O'Connell's ceiling, and will he reach it this year? I don't know. I haven't watched enough Chris O'Connell to know what his ceiling is. Chat, they're going to get back on court real quick. On the uh, Osaka match, they are zooming through this court. Four zo four zoomers. What are they called? Four um, sweepers. They're they're gonna get there real quick. This match is gonna start very very soon. And this match, uh, it's gonna take a little longer because it's a bigger court and it's also in the shade. So if the sun comes out, it's gonna be a little little trickier, but. Do you know why uh, Holger choked so hard? I didn't watch the match, so I, I don't know. I'm going to guess that it was because um, Marijan played well. And Runa, Runa just disappears, doesn't he? He just disappears for a while, unfortunately. Um, but I still have faith in Runa. He's still going to be the player that we all think he should be. All right. Looks like grandstands almost good. The best part is, the best part about um, the Osaka match is that the court's smaller, so it takes it's less time to sweep. But also, the rain wasn't heavy enough that it's going to produce puddles, which means they don't have to like. When there's more more water on the court, it's harder to clean, right? Because you got water underneath the advertising boards. Because it was just sprinkles, they just have to like the top layer is just a little wet, so they just have to zoom over that. And then wipe down the lines and we're good to go. Like it's 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 not as bad as it has been. Like it's gonna be way quicker than usual. By the way, 
I know everybody uses these now, but shout out to the Can Canadian Open for starting using these, uh, the Vaptors. And the, if you don't know the history of the Vaptor, we know because we went through it um, a lot. <laughs> Fucking a lot. Um, <laughs> last year. It's, a, it's actually a pickleball invention. So the best thing that ha ever happened to tennis was pickleball inventing these things that we can steal. So, yeah. So pickleball, this was, these were used for pickleball to, to wipe down the courts of pickleball, and we went, yoink! And now we use them because uh, you can get stuffed. Uh, <laughs> so shout out to pickleball. You did it. The best thing pickleball's ever produced is the Vaptor. And Jack Sock. But we produced him and you can you borrowed him. Alright. Uh, do you think the rain delay plays a big part in why so many big high rank players have lost already? Maybe. Possibly, yeah. Some some more than others. <coughs> Funny. Uh, some more than others because if you're expected to play, or you're like, I'm going to play first on center court and it rains, then you're going to play four hours later. That messes with routines. So yeah, I would say the rain delays have probably attributed to a lot of, some of the, uh, uh, some of them. Thank you, chat. Um, and it's not an excuse, right? We're not making excuses for players like, oh, if it didn't rain, blah, blah, blah. I think Fritz losing, I think, was the rain delay affected. That definitely affected him. Not only did it affect him because the match was pushed, but it also affected him because remember that match got delayed for 45 minutes extra because it was wet? I think maybe Fritz went into that match thinking, I can't run on this court. I, I don't think it's safe. And that maybe he maybe played. I didn't watch the match, but I'm assuming that maybe mentally and psychologically it maybe you know, messed with his head because it was a little slippery and he was like, I don't want to run. And then he lost, right? So I think Fritz was affected by the rain. Paul got injured. That wasn't the rain affected. City pass... City Bass lost. I mean, he was down when they went off, and then he came back two day a, a day later. So maybe there was a little bit, but Chapo played well. I can't can't give City Bass that one. Runa, he just lost. I don't think the rain rain didn't matter. Um, Rublev, you could say Rublev might have been affected because he knew the rain was coming. So I guess again we're we're just making an excuse for everybody. Um, he, he started late, and then when they started, they had like a two-hour window. So maybe he was like, shit, if I'm going to win, I better, I better be, you know, better be quick. And maybe he mucked up because he was, he was rushing. Does that make sense? So maybe you could give Rublev a little bit of a pass. Uh, on the women's side, Sabalenka just lost. Jabir was injured. Zhang lost. No, no excuses there. Penko lost easily. No excuses there. On the women's side, I don't think you can make up any excuses because the rain didn't really affect any of them. Um, but the other, a couple of the guys, you could say the rain affected them. You could make an argument if you had to go to a court of law, and you know, you know, Rublev, I object. He lost because of the rain. Um. By the way, sun's out, guns out. Let's fucking go. Sun's out, chat. I told you it's coming out. Sun's out. Unfortunately, the, the, the way they built the Miami Stadium, the center court is in the shade. Sucks to be them. But Osaka Garcia, the sun's out. The courts are dry. They're wiping down the lines. We're coming back within the next, I'm going to say 15 minutes. Actually, no, Garcia's back on the court. We're coming back within the next minutes. Center court. Uh, good luck. They're gonna get. They're gonna probably be another thirty minutes. But uh, yeah, we got uh, Osaka Garcia coming back now. I mean, Garcia is there. She's on the court, and it sucks so bad because the sun's coming out and <laughs> the Miami court is in shade. I mean, what? Oh, come on, that's such a shit. Why wouldn't they? Oh man, the Miami what, what, Sinner's not going to start for another thirty-five minutes, forty minutes. They're going to come back later, later. Because they don't have any direct sunlight to assist. Man, what a terrible construction. Why wouldn't they just use the... Oh, man. The center court of Miami might be the worst. We should do a tier list of center courts. 
We should do a, a center court tier list. We've done like a tournament tier list, but we should do a center court tier list. I'll, I'll write that down. We can judge all the center courts. Um, because this one's shit. It's not. It's not even a court. It's a bloody football field with a tennis court dropped. It's a pop up. It's a pop up venue. What the hell? It's terrible. Don't hold back. Now look, at least I'm consistent with my uh, criticism. Last year was the same. I was just just as annoyed. But luckily, we got Osaka and uh, Garcia. Thank God for WTA. And double headers. The double header, this is actually a good... Uh, thank God we got this as well. All right. We could maybe even do like a center court, like in a, you know, maybe we'll do like a second court as well, at like Rod Laver Arena or Margaret Court Arena. We could do that. That'd be fun. We'll pick a whole bunch of stadiums around the place and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll go for it. All right, Garcia's back on court. Garcia's back. They're going to do a warm up because I think it's been 20 minutes, but um, they're back. They are back. And they're still trying to dry this center court, which is in the, sh in the shadows. <laughs> man, I don't know who just constructed the stadium, but man, they should have at least made the sun half the day. So we've got half a rain delay now. Half a delay. So they're going to have a three-minute warm-up. The umpire's just saying, the umpire's like, good luck, you're going to be serving at 40-30. And she's like, and Gus is like, but with a warm-up, right? Three-minute warm-up. So they're going to re restart. Because they've been off court for 20 minutes, so I think that's the, the rule, right? 20 minutes off, and then they, they can play. Uh, Osaka's disappeared. I don't know where she is. She'll be back soon. So now the rain delay is for this match only. All right, so they're just going to do a three-minute warm-up. Now, oh, there we go. <laughs> half a delay. Can I do half a... Can I do a half a thing? All right, Osaka's back on court as well. And the sun is out after the brief delay. Yeah, Kevin, you got to fire whoever said four hours. If they, if they said on the TV four hours, mate, you should uh, cancel your subscription. <laughs> okay. They're going to warm up for three minutes. I'm going to get this started. you got to make a re half rain screen. Yeah, let me just, uh, you know, do that. Um, where are we? There you go. Is that good? Half a rain delay. There you go. It's raining over here, and we're fine over here. <laughs> All right. Castella won. Yeah, she did. Will Sinner cl going to clutch it? I think so. Dimino wants to crush it on and off the court this just ends what all right they're warming up sun's out uh having a look at center court they're still trying to dry that thing they're trying to dry the dry it in the shade which is so stupid i mean we say where's the roof but also where the hell's the sun like there's no sunshine it's ridiculous unfortunately another miami l um they need one Covered court, it's a must. Yeah. Uh, are we watching Medvedev later? Maybe. The rain shine double, yeah. To be fair, Indian Wells only had rain delays at the end. It's not known for, for rain, but... Yeah. You think Chapo has a chance to go deep? I reckon Chapo uh, loses today. Um, <clears throat> Alright, there's one of the serves, and the ladies will be ready to go. 
and we will be ready to go with them. I think Ego wins tonight. She's coming up in two hours, by the way. Couple of hours, and then we got Sviantek coming on up against uh, Noskova for the third time in three months. They play every month. All right. There should be a rule that 1,000 events at least have one covered court. Well, see, the problem is that everyone says that, but we all forget that 1,000 events don't have roofs. Most of them don't have roofs. So I know we can say, oh, they should all have one. But the only reason we say that is because we're so used to the slams having them. All the slams have them, so now we expect so much. But also, we should they should have them because we expect them to be mini slams. And if you're a mini slam, you've got to have one roof. So Doha, don't have a roof. Dubai, no roof. When it doesn't rain, we don't talk about it. No roof in Indian Wells. No roof in Miami. Uh, Madrid has a roof. Rome doesn't have one. Since he hasn't got one. Canada doesn't have one. Shanghai has one. Paris is indoors, so that doesn't matter. Um, Beijing has a roof. I think. Um, and then the finals are indoors. The WTA ATP finals. So... Look, maybe if when Rome build a roof, I reckon that's going to make force every other tournament to be like the level is lifting, right? Everyone, all the slams have two roofs, and now the 1000 should have one. Like, that's going to be an expectation from fans. So, maybe the 1000s are going to have to step up, you know? Maybe they are going to have to step up. The problem is that Indian Wells, I mean, if they have a roof, are they going to use it? Is it worth the, you know, the, the tournaments have to pay for it, right? Anyways, luckily we got this match because they're playing outside and it's sunny. 40-30, Garcia serving to take the lead and an ace down the tee. Oh, it was a let, it was a let, it was a let. <laughs> Wait, it was a let. She'll serve again. Umpire said, did the umpire say let? I didn't hear that. All right, serve again. 40-30 is Garcia serves down the tee. That's a great serve. Return goes in from Garcia from uh, Osaka. Garcia with a lovely volley winner, though. 5-4. Garcia takes the lead after a delay. All right, 5-4 Garcia. I think uh, Garcia just said the towels are... Where the towels are, it's a bit wet. Um, the roof, the roof is on fire. Yes. Good one. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to watch Triantec later, of course. I don't think we've missed a Triantec match in three years. Of course we're going to watch it. When are they going to play? The men's match is going to... I mean, they're taking more because... Their court is in shade, so they don't have the benefit of the sun drying it out. But um, the men's match will come on soon. Don't worry. All right, five four Garcia. Five four to Garcia. The rain effect on half the screen is actually pretty clever. I mean, it's. We do our best. <laughs> okay. They put towels down where the uh, where the towels are because it's wet. All right, Garcia. Uh, sorry, Osaka serving to stay in the set. And Osaka serves. An ace. Fifteen love. Fifteen love. Serve again from Osaka. Into the form of Garcia. Return is in. Good to the form of Osaka. Because Osaka hits it out. Fifteen all. Fifteen all. And so Osaka serves again. In the back into Garcia. Return goes back into Osaka on the stretch. As Garcia forehand. Is a winner. 
Chance for Garcia to get the break here. And win the set. 15. 30. 15. 30 is a bit of fault from Osaka. Second serve. Second serve. Serve into the backhand is wide on the return from Garcia and it's 30 all. 30 all. Thirty all as Osaka serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve in the back end of Garcia. Back end from Osaka in the net. We're going to set point. We're going to set point for Garcia. 30-40. To take this first set. Winner plays golf, by the way. The winner plays golf. 30-40. Set point. 30-40. Serve. Into the front of Garcia. Front of Osaka goes in. The back end of Garcia. Who hit the tape? Goes in. Osaka down the line. Hits a winner. Off the line. We get to deuce. Come on! By the way, everybody on the center court's got a towel to dry the court. The center court is a joke. Deuce. At least the car park, you got some sun. <laughs> no sun on the center court. Okay. Second serve from Osaka. Into the forehand of Garcia. And Garcia hits it out. Advantage Osaka. Advantage Osaka. To level at 5-5 here in the first set. Serving the body of Garcia. Good serve. Forehand from Osaka. As Garcia gets on the stretch. But it's in the net. 5-5. Five, five. Good hold from Osaka. Saving a set point as well. Five games old. Five games all. As Garcia serves again. By the way, the other matches outside haven't started yet. Chapo and Aldi still, still delayed. And Murray Mahatch is also still delayed all right serve a fault from Garcia second serve second serve into the backhand of Osaka four from Garcia in the net love 15 Chapeau and Aldi are just warming up perfect there you go yeah, they got they went on this court real quick. I mean, they were out here sweeping the court once uh, once the rain stopped. So they were real quick here. Credit to the uh, ground staff at this court. They were they were so quick. As we serve now, a let from Garcia. As Garcia serves again. Ball all over the place. As we get a serve down here, fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Osaka. Return goes into the front of Garcia. As Osaka gets a forehand cross court, Garcia gets on the stretch. But it goes out. Love 30. Chance for Osaka to break. By the way, Chapo Analdi. Analdi breaks. He breaks. He's up 4 2 in the first set there. So they're back on. Murray Mahatch is probably warming up as well. All right, love 30. So, Dante is an ace from Garcia. Eighth ace of the day so far. 15 30. 
Don't worry though. Sinner versus uh, Griggs Ball will resume very shortly. They're still dry in the court though, because they're in the shades. All right, 15.30. This guy's here serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve's an ace. Woo! Down the tee. Massive ace from Garcia. 30 all. Huge serve. 100 mile an hour second serve down the tee. Thirty all. Serving the fourth of Osaka. Great return. Garcia flicks it into the back end of Osaka. Smacks a winner. 30 40. Osaka to get the break. And serve for the set. 30 40. 30 40. First serve's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. As the return from Osaka goes into the form of Garcia. Garcia puts it away. And we're back at Deuce. All right. We get to Deuce. Gets a deuce. As we just serve it wide, the form of Osaka, who hits it wide on the return. Advantage Garcia. Advantage Garcia. As Garcia serves to get back the lead. She serves out wide. The back of Osaka return. Goes long. And Garcia takes the lead. 6 5 in the second. In the first. Definitely not the second. In the first. All right. Ooh, now the sun's out. Everyone needs umbrellas for that. How are we doing, chat? Answer my question. The question, jerk. How are we doing? All right. But Garcia did have a set point in the last game. The blue court looks as blue as the deepest ocean right now. Yeah. You're going to have to turn lights on for the Sinner match. It's in the dark. When the restart for Sinner and, El uh, Sinner and um, Greeks 4. I mean, there's they seem to have wiped the court down, so they're probably going to come on in the next maybe five minutes. It looks like they're ready to go. Because all the sweepers have left. If Alcaraz continues playing this high level, do you think he can challenge? He would only his only challenge would be Nole. I know Alcaraz won and he beat Sinner last week. Let's pump the brakes. I think Sinner is still a threat. I mean, people. I mean, Sinner lost one set, right? And everyone's like, he's terrible. Sinner and Alcaraz are very... They're on the same level right now. They're definitely on the... I mean, look at the titles they've won. Look at how many titles they've won. Look at their head-to-head. -head. They both can beat Djokovic. Like, Sinner and Alcaraz are neck and neck right now. So, if Alcaraz keeps playing the way he does and Sinner keeps playing the way he does, they can both beat Djokovic. And they can both beat each other. As Osaka... Serves, and the return is too good from Garcia. Come on! Love 15. So yeah, Sinner and Alcaraz on the same... They're at the same level. And they can both beat Djokovic. But they can also both beat each other at that level. As that goes out from Osaka, oh no, Love 30. Love 30. Love 30. As Garcia looks to steal the set. 
Love 30. And an ace. And a big shout from Osaka as well. 15-30. 15-30. Osaka serves again. Another ace. Bang, bang. 30 all. I mean, both these ladies, such good servers. 30 all. And under pressure. I mean, ridiculous. 30 all. This one is a fault. By the way, the men are coming out on court as well. Second serve. Second serve in the back end of Garcia. Back end from Osaka is long. Set point again for Garcia. 30-40. 30-40 to take the first set. 30-40. Serve from Osaka. Another ace. We get to deuce again. Ridiculous. All right. Back to deuce. Osaka with the three aces in this game. She serves again. Down the back end of Garcia. Return goes in to the front of Osaka. Garcia with the back end on the stretch. Into the back end of Osaka as Garcia hits a forehand down the line in the net. Advantage Osaka. Advantage Osaka to take. Advantage Osaka. What am I doing? Here we go. Let me fix that. That's better. There you go. The seconds of a tie break. Serve as a fault. The guys are back on court, by the way. They're warming up. They're warming up. Second serve. Into the forehand of Garcia. Return the back end of Osaka. Garcia with a forehand. Into the back end of Osaka. And Osaka gets it out. Back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. Right, we're back to Deuce. As we just said, didn't see the back end of Garcia. Hit the tape, goes in. Osaka's there with the forehand as Garcia hits a pass. Osaka with a volley. And Garcia puts it away and says, sorry, she hit the tape twice. Garcia, that was lucky. Advantage. And set point Garcia again. To take the first set. Also, everybody's back on court now. Outside, on the outside courts, on the car park. The men's match is about to restart as well. On center court. Okay, third set point. Certainty is a fault from Osaka. Second serve. Second serve. Into the back end of Garcia. Back end from Osaka down the line. Garcia with a volley. Goes out. Osaka hangs on again. Let me get back to Deuce. Back to Deuce. Alright, Osaka serving again. Osaka with the serve. Down the tape. And an ace. Advantage Osaka. Another ace. I mean, a tie break's only fitting, right? They've had they've hit so many good serves. I mean, look at the serving stats. Ridiculous. Advantage Osaka to take us to a tie break. Serve out wide. The back end goes in the net from Garcia. And Osaka gets to the tie break. We're going to get straight into it. Who's winning the tie break, chat? Who has you got winning the tiebreak? Garcia's had three set points. Huge first set. Both need it. 
Osaka's going to win. Okay, Osaka will dip win. 7-4 Garcia. 7-2 Osaka. 7-5. 7-5 Osaka. Osaka, Osaka. Osaka, uh, Garcia. A lot of people going with Osaka. All right. Garcia serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve goes in the back end of Osaka. Fauna from Garcia. Into the fauna of Osaka. Volley from Garcia in the net. And the mini break goes to Osaka. One love in the tie break. 1-0 Osaka. Osaka's going home, okay? One love Osaka. As Osaka serves. To the front of Garcia. Return the back end of Osaka, but it's in the net. Good return from Garcia. 1-1. One, one. This is a very high quality match for sure. one all. 1-1. One, one. Osaka serves again. Into the four. Oh, Garcia with a return winner. This is going to be on Venice TV, bro. 2-1. Garcia with a mini break now. Both just trading breaks. 2-1 Garcia. 2-1 to Garcia. That was a good serve too, but Garcia just slaps it cross court. Almost an hour played in the ladies' match. 2-1 Garcia. And she serves an ace down the tee. 3-1 Garcia. Also, the men's match is about to start up again. Greek Spores, sorry, Sinner serving at 3-3 in the second. Greek Spores is three games away from an upset. I mean, he could come back here and just... I mean, he could come back and just smack the ball back a couple of times and see what happens. Serve and see a fault from Garcia. Second serve. It's been 50 minutes since the last point was played in the men's match. Garcia, 3-1. She serves a second serve. Into the back end of Osaka. Back end of Garcia. Into the back end of Osaka on the stretch. As Garcia with a volley in the net. Oh, she had a, she had a chance. She just slapped it into the net, though. 3-2. Back on surf here, Osaka. Still down, but we're back on track. Sinner's back, by the way. He's serving at 3-3 in the second. He lost the first set, 7-5. All right, 3-2 Garcia. Osaka serving. Down the tee, the four to Garcia. Return the back end of Osaka. Garcia backhand. Into the back end of Osaka. Is Garcia to four and cross court? Garcia... Gets a point. Osaka hits it in the net. They change ends. 4-2 Garcia. Osaka hasn't held yet. I don't think on serve at all. Our advantage. Oh, sorry. 4-2 uh, Garcia. Does they change ends? Four two. Sinner at 30, love. As he tries to take his uh, lead back. All right. Osaka serves. 4-2 Garcia in this tie break. And as we just serve out why the Fauna Garcia return is chipped, but it's called a let. Also, 40 love Sinner. Jeez, he's kicking ass. 40 love easy for Sinner. Sinner hasn't lost a first serve point in the second set. All right. Sinner holds. 4-3. He keeps that lead in the second set. Garcia's got the mini break here. 4-2. As Osaka serves the back into Garcia. Return goes to front of Osaka. Garcia gets a point. 5-2 Garcia. Osaka just making some silly errors. 5-2. 
Garcia serving two points away from this first set. Five two. As Garcia serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. And the crowd start cheering. Andy Murray must have broken or something. Well, now already won the first set. <coughs> That's why they're cheering. Serve goes out. So serve goes in. The return goes out. As Osaka throws a racket. Shots fired! Shots fired! Six two Garcia. My finger slipped. I pressed the wrong button. Six two. My bad. I was, I was just celebrating a, a return. Uh, uh, <laughs> set points. Serve. Is a fault from Garcia. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve into the point of Osaka. Return the point of Garcia. As Osaka goes cross court again to the point of Garcia, and Garcia hits it out. All right. Osaka hangs in. She's saved four set points now. Six three. Now she's got to serve. All right, six three Garcia. Osaka with the serves though. Sinner, by the way, he is uh, at fifteen all on the Greek ball serve. <coughs> Make that thirty fifteen Greek ball. As with a serve, ace out wide. Woo. Yeah, well, Garcia, I mean Osaka served that many aces under pressure to, so far in the last thirty minutes since coming back from the rain delay. Ridiculous. All right, still set point though, but it's on those Osaka serve. Osaka serves again. Into the back end of Garcia. Return goes in the back end of Osaka. Garcia backhand. Into the back end of Osaka as Garcia hits a four and cross court. And that's a winner. First set goes to Caro. 7-6. But that was a very, very high quality serving display. No breaks. A lot of aces. And the tie break goes to Garcia. 7-6. All right, Grigsport. He's serving. Out wide, the Fauna Sinner. Return goes to Fauna Grigsport. If the tape goes in, Sinner backhand down the line goes long. And Grigsport gets a 4-4. Four, four. He is two games away from creating one of the biggest upsets of the year. 4-4. Four, four. We'll stick with the guys for now because uh, that is getting to a point where we could be ending that match. Which is kind of weird to say out loud because uh, yeah, it's Yannick Sinner and he doesn't lose this early. Not anymore. Ah, uh, four four. Sinner serves. Sinner with a serve. Sinner serves out wide the four in a Greek sport. Back in a sinner. Into the back in a Greek sport. Sinner backhand. There's again the back in a Greek sport. Into the four in a sinner. There's Greek sport backhand on the stretch. Sinner forehand. Goes down the line. Greek sport's there on the stretch. As Sinner goes cross court and wide. Love 15. Greek score is seven points away. Love 15. Danger for Sinner already. The problem with Greek score, though, is that he does... He does stuff things up sometimes. <laughs> All right, love 15. Serve from Sinner. Is a fault. Second serve. Second serve. The back end of Greek ball. Fauna from Sinner. Into the back end of Greek ball. Sinner hits a forehand. Down the line again. Greek ball's there with the backhand. Cross court to the back end of Sinner. It's Greek ball. Goes again. The back end of Sinner. Into the back end of Greek ball. And Greek ball hits it in the net. 15 all. 15 all. One hour and 30 minutes played in the Greek Sports Cinema match. 15 0. Right. 
15 all. <coughs> and Sinner serves. An ace. 30 15. 30 15. As he serves again here. By the way, Osaka serving first in the second set. I see it took the first 7-5, or 7-6. We have served on the team from Sinner. That's a fault. Second serve. Second serve. For the back end of Greek Spore. Good return as Sinner goes into the front of Greek Spore. Into the back end of Sinner. Greek Spore forehand slice on the stretch. As Sinner goes down the line. Greek Spore's there with the back end. Sinner back end again. To the back end of Greek Spore. Again to the back end of Sinner. As Greek Spore hits the back end down the line. Sinner's there with the forehand. Goes in. Greek Spore. Cross court goes wide. 40 15. Sinner to take back the lead. 40 15. Forty fifteen. Sinner serves again. As Osaka gets a forty love in her first game of the second. Oh, okay. Forty fifteen. Sinner serves. An ace. Five four. Sinner in the second. As Osaka also serves. And gets the first game of uh, of the second for her. All right. Fully expected Osaka to be get back in the top twenty by the end of the year. Yeah, me too. Yeah. If you didn't think that after the Svetlana match, then I can't help you. But I agree. I mean, I put Osaka in my top ten. Maybe a little ambitious, but I put her in my top ten at the at the start of the year. If you go check that out, and a lot of people thought that was silly. Well, what you say that when she wins the U.S. Open, you say how silly I am now. All right, <laughs> return goes in <coughs> from Gus. Oh, what a shot from Osaka. This is going to be on Benny's TV, bro. Finally, somebody does something when I pump them up and they hit a winner. What a shot from Osaka, cross-court winner. Love 15. We've had no breaks yet in this women's match, which is very strange, but also awesome as Garcia serves a let. Love 15. And as Garcia serves. And Osaka hits it wide on the return. 15 all. Mm. By the way, chat. Is the US Open is the US tournaments the only ones that show ads during the changeovers, like in the stadium? Like, usually when it's a changeover, it's like they just play music. But like, like when, I mean, the Australian Open, do they do it? I don't know. But like, they've got like full on like ads for cars and, sh and sponsors and shit. Is that like happening? Does that happen in Madrid? <laughs> like, I don't know. I only noticed in America because they're just like blaring the adverts. And it's like, dude, the sponsors of the, of like, just getting the ads. Is that normal? Usually they just play music and stuff, right? Uh, 15.30, by the way. Garcia in trouble. As Osaka looks to break. Sinner on the stretch, by the way. Good shot. Griegsball gets it. Backing out from Sinner across court. As Griegsball slices it. Into the forehand of Sinner. And then Griegsball hits it wide. Love 15. Yeah, they're on, the, on like the billboards, like on the, on the big screens, they were just showing like random ads. <laughs> like they're just playing like commercials. Oh, that ball kid. That would have been the catch of a lifetime, mate. And you missed it. You dropped it. Love 15. Do we do it in... I don't know if we do it in Australia between, like, when they sit down. I mean, maybe we do. We probably do. We probably do as well. They're not on the TV coverage. I'm talking about at the stadium. Like, when you're watching in the stadium, do you get... Like, do they do that as well? All right, 15 all. Good serve by Greek Sporas. Garcia, it's a lovely forehand winner, 40 30. Right, serve from Greek Sporas. Back in the center. Return goes short in the front of Greek Sporas. Puts it away. 
Thirty fifteen. Group spot serves again. Thirty fifteen. Serve. Is a fault. Double fault from Garcia, by the way. First, one of the first double faults, or one of the only double faults of the day. They're both serving amazing. Is it a second serve now? The Fauna Center returns to Fauna Greeks for Center backhand. Down the line as Greeks for gets with the forehand again to the back of the center. Into the back of the Greeks for Center backhand. Down the line. Into the forehand of Greeks for Center goes again down the line. As Greeks for goes back into backhand with Center. Now Center with the forehand as Greeks for on the stretch. Gets it to the Fauna Center. To the back of the Greeks for. As Center to forehand cross court. Oh, Greeks for is there. There's been a forehand from Center again. As Greeks for goes down the line. Goes wide. 30 0. Chance for Sinner to steal this set. Two points away. Just wide by Greeks for 30 all. Thirty all is going to serve again. Twenty one shot rally, by the way. Okay. 30 all. Greek Sport serves. An ace. That's clutch. Oh, it's called a let. It was called a let. Robbed. It was called a let. You get a first serve again. Greek Sport is robbed. Serve. Now wide. Sinner returns. Into the back of the Greek spore. Back in from center. Into the back of the Greek spore. As it hit the tape, goes into the back of the center. Greek spore back in the stretch on again to the back of the center. Into the back of the Greek spore. Goes in the line in the net. Oh no. Greek spore. He could have served an ace. He was robbed. 30 40. Center with a set point. Second time I've done that today. Second time the umpires have failed to call let. So blame them, not me. It's not my fault. I couldn't hear. I'm deaf. 30 40. Center with a set point to take us to a third. Thirty forty. 40. Serving the Fauna Center. Return goes in the Fauna Greek Spore. Who puts it away? So that was set up by the serve. And it's Deuce. Also, Garcia levels at 1-1 in the second. Where are the game stats? Be here. Okay. Greek Sports survives. We get to Deuce. Greek Sports serves. And A7 the T. No let this time. That was an ace. Pure ace down the tee. Advantage Greeks for. Advantage Greeks for. To level this second set. As he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve the back end of... Sinner, backhand from Greek Sport to the front of Sinner. Into the back of the Greek Sport. Sinner hits a backhand. Cross court again to the back of the Greek Sport. Sinner forehand. Inside out. Greek Sport's there with the backhand. Into the back of the Sinner. Again to the back of the Greek Sport. Sinner hits a forehand. Cross court. Greek Sport on the stretch. Goes down the line. Sinner's there with the backhand. As Greek Sport hits a backhand down the line. Sinner just gets it. Greek Sport cross court goes wide. And we're back at Deuce. We get back to Deuce. By the way, love 30. Garcia is about to get the set as Osaka hits the next. 15-30. Osaka trying to hang on to the lead in the second. <laughs> Pardon me. And Sinner trying to steal the set. 
Oh, Saka with a second serve ace. Jesus, all right. As Grigsport comes into the net and lets it go long because Sinner's shot was hit a little too hard. Good read at the net from Grigsport. Advantage, Grigsport. Advantage, Grigsport. And as he serves again to level this second set. Serve it while the back in the center. Return the net. Good hold by Grigsport. Saves the set point as well. Osaka, by the way, aces her way back in front. Does she had served three aces in a row just now? What the hell? Crazy from uh, Osaka. Okay. Five five, Grigsport holds Osaka, two one up. In the second, she holds on. All right, Sinner serves again. He's only lost three points on his serve in the entire set, Sinner. As he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. Into the forehand of Griegspor. Return the forehand of Sinner. There's Griegspor. Goes again the forehand of Sinner. Down the line of the back end of Griegspor. Cross court into the back end of Sinner. Into the back end of Griegspor. Goes down the line. Sinner gets it on the stretch. Again at the forehand of Griegspor who overhits it. And it's 15 love. Sinner. 15 love. Fifteen love. Fifteen love as Sinna serves again. Serve out wise an ace from Sinna. Thirty love. Uh, Murray Mahatch is four all in the second. Murray won the first seven five. All right, Sinner serves again. 30 love. Thirty love. Another ace from Sinner. Forty love. Sinner to stay in front in this second set. Uh, 40 love. Forty love sinner. He serves. Sinner with a serve. An ace again. Jesus. Three aces in that game? Ridiculous. Alright. Sinner lead. 6 5 in the second. Sinna leads 6-5. Garcia serving. She's up a set, but down 2-1 in this second set. Serve out wide of the fault from Garcia. Second serve. Second serve. He's a double fault, Garcia. Check my salt there. 15-0. Garcia's record has a name on it, does it? Uh, 15 all. As Garcia serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. And the back of Osaka hits it wide on the return. 30 15. 30 15 as Garcia serves again. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. The back end of Osaka return goes long and it's 40 15. Forty fifteen. 
to level this second set here, Garcia. Serving the back end of Osaka. Return goes the back end of Garcia. Osaka on the stretch. Hits it long. 2-2. Griegsport trying to get to a second a set tiebreak. As he wins the first point with an ace. 15 love. And he serves a fault. Second serve. Second serve. The body of Sinner. Return goes in the back end of Griegsport. Sinner hits the back end again. The back end of Sinner. In the back end of Griegsport. Sinner goes down the line wide. And it's 30 love. 30 love. <clears throat> So Osaka serves another ace. For her to get to 15, love. All right. Rixmore serves. 30, love. Out wide the forehand of Sinner. Forehand from Griegsport goes long. 30, 15. Thirty fifteen. Fifteen. Still a chance here for Greek Sport to get to the tiebreak, which really would put the pressure on Sinner. A lot of pressure to win a tiebreak to stay alive in this tournament. So about why the back and Sinner return goes in the front of Greek Sport. Sinner forehand down the line as Greek Sport's backhand goes cross court. Sinner gets there. Backhand from Greek Sport again to the back end of Sinner. Into the back end of Greek Sport as Greek Sport in the net 30 all. Well, Sinner could steal the set. He already had a set point. 30 0. Chance for Sinner to get, take the second. Oh, probably. 30 0. Osaka, by the way, 40 th uh, love. When she tries to take the lead again in the second of her match. Serve. There's a fault from Greek Sport. Second serve. Second serve. Out wide is a let. Osaka gets a four. So three two. In the second. And now it is up a set and a breaking in Chapo. We serve now the forehand of Sinner. Great body serve. Greek Sport at 30 all. Smart serve. And Sinner hits in the net. 40-30. Greek Sport to take it to a second set tie break. Forty thirty. Greek Sport serves into the back of the center. Return goes to the back of the Greek Sport, but he overhits it, and we get to Deuce. We get back to Deuce. By the way, how the hell does Naomi Osaka hold a pen? She she writes like this. How do you write like this? That's that's insane. Anyways, backhand in the net from Greeks for advantage sinner. She was writing notes like this. Like that's not that's not how I was taught. How does, how, does, how does she write? I mean, good for her, but bloody hell. How do you do that? How do you write? Anyways, advantage sinner. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm shook. It's a wild way to write. Is that a is it, chat? Why don't the chat you write like that? Four from Greeks for inside out the back of the sinner. As Greeks for hits a four and in the four to sinner. Again, the four to Greeks for who goes down the line. Great shot and sinner can't get it. Deuce. Like, does anyone else, does anyone else write like this? Is that, like, maybe, it, <clears throat> maybe it's, I don't know, is that like a different way of writing? Is, do people get, I mean, I got taught to write like this. Like, have the pen like this. Some do this, some do this. But this? How the hell do you do that? Anyway, serve down the tee from Greeks was a big serve. Advantage. She's right-handed, though. 
It's not a lefty thing if she's right-handed. All right, advantage Greek Spore. Serve out wide the back in the center. Back in from Greek Spore. Into the back in the center. It's a passing shot winner. Down the line from center. Great shot. Back to Deuce. It's easier to write like that. Is it? <laughs> Is it? That? I wouldn't find it easy. At all. All right. By the way, Osaka's got 1530. Despite holding the pen very strange, I'm not going to try. I can't even. I mean, no. This is, this is the way. And chat, I have a degree in drawing, so I think I know how to hold a pen. I mean, you don't get into architecture school, you can't hold a pen. It's half the. It's, it's, it's part of the program. That's part of the test. Is it a back and a backhand rally? Slice never and Griggsport goes in the net, and Sinner's got another set point. Advantage Sinner! Advantage Sinner to take this set. Osaka, by the way, has got 15.40. She's trying to get the first break of the day. And despite holding a pen like this, she might get it. She holds a racket nice. Is going to return now into the net from, uh, from Osaka, though, and it's 30.40. Garcia surviving. Another set point for Sinner. Serve in the foreign of Sinner. Return goes in the foreign of Greek Sport. Sinner, foreign on the stretch. Goes into the Fauna Griggs ball, who hits it in the net! <laughs> Sinner takes the set, and that's all he did, he just... That's all he did. Okay, Sinner takes the second, we're going three. Alright, Osaka's looking for a... Oh, she gets a double fold, okay! Garcia double folds, that's the first break of the day. Osaka breaks fourth, two in the second. By the way, Grigsbo hit so many errors in that set. 17 errors, 11 on the backhand side. Terrible. Sinner hit eight aces in that second set, by the way, from 13 winners. All right, Osaka takes the break in the second. Okay, one... Hour and 23 minutes, Osaka serves. A fault. Second serve. Sinner finally broke. First break of the day for him. Is a double fault from Osaka. Ew. Myself in there. Osaka and Sinner breaking for the first time at the same time. All right, first serve. First point is a double fault. Love 15. So we're going to see the forehand of Osaka uh, from uh, Garcia. It's going to forehand of Osaka to the forehand of Garcia. And Osaka gets it wide. Love 30. Chance for Garcia to break straight back. Love 30. There's a default here from Osaka. Second serve. Second serve. Into the form of Garcia. Form of Osaka again. The form of Garcia. Garcia in the net. 15 30. 15 30. As we get a smash from Osaka on the baseline. She hits it long. And it's 15-40. Break back points. For Garcia to get back on serve straight away. Garcia call for the physio. Alright, we'll see what's up with that. Any mods in the house? Uh, 15.40 has been a four now from Osaka. The back end of Garcia. Garcia puts it wide. One save. 
30, 40. Thirty forty as Garcia looks to get this break back. Served out of tape. There's a fault. <coughs> Second serve. Thirty forty. Return goes in the back end of Osaka. No, Osaka gets a wide. Osaka's throwing the racket. Because I love Man, it. Listen. That's not the one. Oh, um, we're back on serve straight away. We're back on serve straight away. All right. We are back on serve. And yeah, train around for Garcia. Trainer out for Garcia. Yeah, Garcia's got the shoulder problem. She's gonna uh she's just testing out the shoulder as Griggs Ball puts in there. 40 15. Kemi, you getting sick? Maybe. All right, 40, 15. 40, 15. He's going to serve again from Sinner in the back of the Greeks ball. Forehand for Sinner. Into the forehand of Greeks ball on the stretch. Sinner with a forehand down the line. As Greeks ball hits a slice. Sinner, forehand, goes down the line again. As Greeks ball gets on the stretch. Sinner with a forehand, goes long, and it's 40, 30. 40, 30. Wait, is Dawn here? Dawn, are you here? I don't know if Dawn's here or not. I know I see Debbie here, but is Dawn here? Okay. Garcia, by the way, is getting uh, her shoulder attended to. All right. 40 30. Cena tries to win the first game of the third. Uh, 40 30. Cindy comes in with a smash, puts it away. One love in the third. Sinner. Garcia does have a, a shoulder problem, so we'll see what's up. We'll make sure uh, we'll keep an eye on her movements as Osaka gets a medical timeout or gets to talk to her coaches during the medical timeout. <clears throat> and no, Dawn's here. Just in the, uh, in the other chat. All right. One love in the second, in the third. Um, not the break back. Yeah, it was break straight back. But Garcia does have a shoulder problem, it seems. All right. Just waiting for Sinner to come back on court. Anyone else think Sinner's going to uh, run away with this final set? Sinner the giraffe escape. What? Medical timeout for Garcia, by the way, on the shoulder. All right, Griggs serves the back and Sinner return. Goes wide. 15 love. Anaudi serving for the match against Chapo. That's happening. We've got uh, Murray and Mahatch in a close second set. A very close second set. As we just serve now from Greeksport in the back and the center return goes in the front of Greeksport. And Greeksport hits it long. 15 0. 
15 all. No, Garcia is back on court, by the way. She is serving down 4 3, but she just broke back. There's a turn out of the 40 Greek Sport. Back in for center on the stretch. As Greek Sport goes cross court and long. 15 30, Greek Sport. <laughs> He's starting to get a little shaky. And he's starting to make some noise. 15 30. 15 30. looking for the break straight away. 15 30. Greeks for serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve, the backhand of Sinner. Backhand of Griggs for the backhand of Sinner. As Griggs for. Goes down the line of the backhand of Sinner, and Sinner smacks it down the line for a winner. 15 40. <laughs> 15 40. Sinner to get the break early in the third set. Okay. 15-40. Just here, by the way. 30 love with a great volley. As we return now from center to the front of Greek Spore. Back in from center. Cross court at the back end of Greek Spore. As Sinner to find inside out. Greek Spore with a slice. Goes in the net. There's the break. Two love Sinner. In the final set. Two love. Uh, two love. Well, I guess is about to level this second set, but hits in the net instead. Why do these ladies have carrots stuck to their heads? No, I know why, but like, why? <laughs> Got headbands. They've stuck. He they've stuck carrots to a headband. <laughs> I I know why, but also, come on now. <laughs> good good for them uh, two love sitter uh, he's a fine winner they love it's very DIY good for them it's great <laughs> buy a carrot buy a headband stick it together easy there's your there's your sinner headband Shepard breaks Yay! We love yes, go Chapo. 4 4 by the way. As Garcia holds. 4 4. And now he chokes. <clears throat> Cena goes out wide the back into Griggsport. Griggsport in the net. 30 love. 30 love. As Osaka is a lovely forehand winner. 15 love over there. Nah, uh, Griffo hasn't smashed a racket yet. But it is pending. I dropped my pen. It is happening. He will. You know he will. As soon as serves a fault. Second, uh, serves a let, sorry. Second, first serve. As soon as serves a fault. Second, serve. Second serve the forehand of Greek Sport. Forehand from Sinner down the line. Greek Sport's there with the backhand. Into the backhand of Sinner. Into the backhand of Greek Sport. Sinner hits the backhand again to the backhand of Greek Sport. Into the backhand of Sinner. It's Greek Sport. Hits the backhand again to the backhand of Sinner. Into the backhand of Greek Sport. Sinner hits the backhand down the line. Greek Sport there with the forehand cross court. Sinner's there. Going forehand to forehand as Greek Sport goes down the line, but it's long. 40 love. 40 love Sinner to get the 3 love. Osaka's also got 40 love. As she tries to get back the lead. 40 love. Osaka does get to 5 4 with a good serve. <coughs> serve out wide the back end of Griggsport. Griggsport goes wide. 3 love, Sinner, final set. By the way, Shriante comes up in an hour. 
So stay tuned for that. And uh, Garcia and Osaka. 5-4 second set. Garcia still getting treatment on that shoulder too. All right. What's up, everybody? Will you answer my question? Can you answer my question, please? I feel the anxiety of Alcaraz because I'm terrified of bees. Oof. Fair enough. Cam, do you think Coco has the worst forehand in the top 20? Who has the worst backhand? Um, I don't, oh man, that's a tough one. Maybe. I don't know who has the worst backhand. No, that's, a, that's a hard one. Murray lost the second set. Damn. That sucks. Uh, what happened to Runa? He got wrecked. He got wrecked. He got wrecked. FAA has the worst backhand, but no, he doesn't play WTA. It's saying WTA. <clears throat> right now, uh, right when I put Yannick on TV, uh, but if you start losing, I will consider it a jinx and put it off uh, again. So think on it. Fair enough. Bees are dangerous. Bees are dangerous. Cinema match stats. Uh, I'll tell you later. 15 minutes into the final set. Three love. Cinema with a break in the final set. Garcia serving to stay in the second set. We've got Triante coming up in, um, in about an hour. So that's good. As we return now to the fawn of Garcia. Garcia with a tape to the fawn of Osaka. And Osaka over hits it. And the thing is, Osaka just needs to get to a third set here, and she might be ready to go. Like, it, it, especially if Garcia's got a shoulder problem. Osaka has to do everything to make this three sets. Ace out wide from Griggs for 30 love. As the return goes out from Osaka, 30 love for Garcia. What's my prediction for Osaka Garcia? I said uh, Osaka in three, right? Pretty sure. How to become an architect? Um, study? <laughs> it's a good question. How did I do it? <laughs> I did it with magic. Back end down the line, winner from Sinner, 30 15. Uh, I don't know, like, get good grades? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Have a general interest in uh, building and how things are drawn and designed, I guess. Great back end down the line from Sinner. As we just served down to see the 400 Greeks ball. 400 from Sinner goes in the 400 Greeks ball. As Greeks ball is a volley. Sinner with a slice. Greeks ball goes down the line with a slice. Sinner's going to get it with a lob. But it goes long. 40 15. So 40-15 for Garcia to try and level up the second. 40-15. Unfortunately, I can't show this. I, I can't. The problem with the stats is that they only show one match. I can't do two matches, unfortunately. There's a limitation to technology. Unfortunately, with the double headers, I can't. As we get a winner there from uh, Garcia, and it's 5-5. Five, five. She levels up the second. As Griggsport gets it on the board in the final set. 3-1. Sinner with a break. 3-1. Sinner in the final set. As a student who is about to obtain his university degree, you need to be really passionate in the subject and it's a, or it's a battle. Yeah, if you if you don't love what you're doing at uni, it's going to really hurt. It's real. I mean, yeah. If you, I mean, you don't have to love it, but it definitely helps. Especially when you're doing things that take, you know, I mean, I had to do like, the reason why I can do all-nighters on tennis is because I used to do all-nighters in uni. It was shit. <laughs> I had to stay up all night having to draw. Like, it was brutal. Ace down the from center, 40, 15 love. This is easy, chat. That's why staying up all night watching tennis is easy. You know, I, I, I trained for this my whole life. <laughs> University, college trained me for this. Um... 15 love. Asuna serves again. A fault. 
Second serve. Second serve. As we get a return now, oh, Garcia, by the way, is pushing Osaka around. That goes out from center, 15 all. I've been a teaching English for, at uni for 37 years and it hurts. <laughs> well, it hurts to teach or hurts to, it hurts, the students are in pain. But who's hurting? <laughs> all right, 15 all as Sinner serves again. One in the chat if you went to college or university. And, and one in the chat if you have a degree, I guess. One in the chat if you studied for something and got a degree. 30-15, by the way. Lovely drop shot from Sinner. All right. Drop shot's good from Sinner. 30-15. 15-30, by the way. Garcia's a chance to get... About to get... Uh, in Osaka's in trouble. 15-30. <coughs> As Griswold returns, though, backhand to backhand with Sinner. Into the fly now, Sinner. hits another drop shot, but it's in the net this time. 30 all. Chance for Griswold to break back. Thirty all. So a lot of people went to have a degree and went to college. How was it? <laughs> Fifteen forty. Garcia's a chance to break here and then serve for the match. First is a fall from Osaka. Second serve. Second serve. Second serve in the back of the Garcia. Return goes out. 30-40. Osaka saves one. By the way, Sinner's 40-30. He's about to get to 4-1. 30-40, though. Garcia, a chance to get the break here. And then serve for the match. Remember, Goff plays the winner of Osaka versus Garcia. And Sinner gets a 4-1 with, uh, with an ace. All right. 30-40, second serve. Into the forehand of Garcia, smacks the winner down the line. And Garcia breaks. 6-5, she's going to serve for the match. Lovely return from Garcia. It was okay, I'm still taking my second degree while working. Nice, I preferred school to uni, okay. Best time of my life so far in college, nice. Degree in agriculture, cool. I just came back from tennis and my shoulder and knees are killing me. Ouch. It was like a job that I didn't get paid for. Okay. Fair. <laughs> I know some a lot of people are doing something different with their, de <coughs> their, their degree. <coughs> yeah, I, I know that too. I'm include I'm me. <laughs> I me I'm I that's me. Um, my PhD in, is in philosophy and believe common sense isn't on the curriculum. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, no, and nobody hasn't won yet. They're in a tiebreaker in the second. Studying IT at the moment. Okay. Um, Osaka's second serve is terrible. Um, no, it's not. Her second, uh, Garcia's second serve is terrible if you're looking at the stats. English degree was easy. My psychology degree was much, it was tough, but more interesting. Okay. Nice. All right, Greg Spore. He is down a break in the third, but we're not going to watch him yet. We're going to watch Garcia serve for the match. Let's see what she can do. Can she finish this match off? Straight sets win over Osaka. That's a pretty solid, solid win. As Garcia serves. Into the back of Osaka. Return goes in the form of Garcia. Osaka with a forehand. Into the back of Garcia. 
But Osaka over hits it. 15 love. 15 love. As Garcia serves. Three points away. 15 love. Serving the forehand of Osaka. Forehand from Garcia inside out at the back end of Osaka. Garcia with a forehand. Down the line again. Osaka gets there. As Garcia goes again to the back end of Osaka. Garcia back end again. Goes in the net this time. It's 15 all. Osaka fighting. 15 all. As Griswold's a lovely back end winner. 30 15. All right, Garcia, 15 all. And she serves. The back end of Osaka return is into the form of Garcia. Osaka with the back end pass. Garcia gets up with the volley, but can't do anything with it. 15 30. A chance for Osaka to break back, potentially. 15 30. Garcia steps up. 15.30. 15.30 as Osaka looks to return. The serve. Goes out wide of the slice of Osaka. Short ball. Garcia puts it away. 30 all. Great serve. <clears throat> Still a chance though for Osaka to break back. 30 all. Thirty all on both courts. Chance for City to get the double break. Garcia with a serve. Thirty all. Now oh, should I go to Garcia in my team chat? Here I am thinking I I don't have Osaka. I've got Sinner and Garcia in my team. Oh yay. Win win. Alright, 40 uh, 30 40 chance for Sinner for the double break as Osaka return goes long and Garcia gets the match point. 40 30. Match point for Garcia to play Goff, who I traded out of my team for Sviontek and might have been the best thing ever if uh, Garcia beats Goff in a couple of days. I look like a genius, chat. I will look like a genius. Match point, Garcia. She serves. Down the seat, the form of Ga Osaka. Return goes back into Garcia. As Osaka hits backhand, cross court to the slice of Garcia. Osaka backhand down the line. Garcia doing a lot of running. As Osaka gets a forehand on the stretch now. Garcia back to the forehand of Osaka. Volley from Garcia is good. Osaka with a lob. And Garcia puts away the smash. Great win for Garcia. She wins the trilogy. And all three matches very, very close. No, no, uh, no three setters. But all three matches very, very competitive between these ladies this year. I want to see another one. Give me a fourth. Give me one on. Give me a fourth match between these two. And make it the U.S. Open, and make it three sets. We haven't got the three setter yet, but we deserve it. Great serving by both. It was a huge. It was a big serving day for both ladies. And Garcia gets the win. She wins the trilogy to start the season. And she plays Goff. That's a good. That's a good match against Goff. Goff Garcia. That's a fun one, especially considering that Goff. You know, if she goes down 4-2 in the first set against Garcia, that's not going to be fun. GG's. Great win for Garcia. Solid. Hopefully the shoulder's okay. That's the only problem. Hopefully that shoulder holds up. But yeah, good win. And look, again, good for Osaka. You know, made a third round. Beats Fedelina. That was a big win. But man, for some reason, when she plays against uh, Garcia, which is a lot, Garcia just has the variety to out-hit out uh, Osaka. All right. Advantage, advantage, Grigspor. I lost my house because of you. Well, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have listened to people on the internet. That's your fault. Your problem, not mine. All right, advantage, Grigspor. Let's go back and return from Sinner. Backhand from Grigspor again. To the back of the Sinner, and Sinner puts it away. And it's back to Deuce. Sinner's two games away from a dub here. A very hard fought win if he can get it. All right, we do have Shiontek taking on uh, Noskova. 
in about an hour's time as well. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a real fun one later. Also a trilogy. As we just serve now, Griggspaw in the back of the center. Sinner hits it wide. And it's advantage, Griggspaw. Advantage, Griggspaw. After this game, by the way, we are going to merge the stream. So make sure you jump over. If you're on the Garcia match, jump over to the uh, to the other one. Serve in the back end of center. Fauna from Griggspaw in the net. And we're back to Deuce. Want to see how the end of the Sinner match ends? Going to have to jump over to the Sinner stream. All right, Deuce again. Griggsport is trying to hang in. All right. Griggsport with a serve. Into the fourth Sinner. Great return. Griggsport gets up with a slice. Into the back end of Sinner. As Griggsport's backhand goes down the line. Sinner with a forehand cross uh, down the line again as a winner. And Sinner gets another break point to take a 5-1 lead in the final set. Chapo hanging in, by the way. And Murray's down 3-love in the third. Chapo's about to take it to a third against uh, Onaldi. All right. Breakpoint Sinner to take a 5-1 lead in the final set here. Serve the forehand of Sinner. Return the forehand of Griggs Boy. Sinner to forehand inside out. That's a winner. Woo! Okay. Sinner takes the double break and he's going to serve the match. If you want to keep watching the, uh, if you want to watch the end of the Sinner match, jump over. Uh, if you're watching the Osaka match, 7-6, seven, 7-5. Seven, Garcia gets a win. She beats... She beats Osaka in a close straight set, which has been the story when they played this year. And she'll play golf in the next round. All right. Sinner serving for this match. But God, it has not been easy. It has not been easy at all. Yannick Sinner serves. A fault. Second serve. Second serve. The return goes in the net from Griggsborg. 15 love. 15 love. Two hours and 22 minutes played, by the way. 15 love. Sinner serves. To the back of the Griggsborg. Return goes long. 30 love. 30 love. Sinner serves again. The return goes in the forehand of Sinner. Griggsport backhand cross court in the net. 40 love. And Yannick Sinner is about to make the fourth round, but he's had to fight for it. And now he beats Chapo. And now he beats Chapo. All right. 40 love. As we serve, is a let. Everyone thought it was nice, but it was a let. Umpiring ruining things as usual. 40 love. <laughs> I'm kidding. Serve out wide at the back end of Griggsbore. Forehand swinging volley is a winner from Sinner. Sinner wrecks Griggsbore in the final set. But man, that was shaky. That first couple of sets being Griggsbore put it up to Sinner. But Sinner runs away with it in the third. And he is into the fourth round. Yannick Sinner. Or was it the third round? Hang on. No, fourth round. Fourth round, and he'll take on the winner of O'Connell or Dam, who are playing a little bit later. GG's. Tough win for Sinner, but he gets it. That's all that matters. He gets it. In the end, two hours and 22 minutes played as Sinner gives the uh, kids in the front row a souvenir. It was a sweatband or something. All right. Good win. Good win. Now, Collins and Avanesian are about to start as well. Uh, Mahatch, by the way, is up a break in the third against Murray. So that's happening. Um, if you want to leave him, by the way, don't forget to sub on the way out. 
we will be back to watch uh, Shvion take in an hour. But we'll just chill for a bit, and then we'll uh, we'll see what's up. What was the handshake like for both? That was good. It's normal. Yeah, it was normal. Normal handshakes, nothing crazy. Sinner turning around was not a surprise at all. Yeah. I mean, there was a little bit shaky there in the in the middle of the set, of the second. Now, there was an opportunity there for... Um, Opportunity there for uh, for Grigsport to potentially cause a massive upset. But unfortunately, he just couldn't get to that tie break in that second set. It might have made all the difference. All right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, this, the girls were serving bombs. I mean, uh, uh, Osaka and Garcia, that was some of the best serving you'll see on the WTA. That was wild. It's awesome. It's great to see that kind of serving. Um, I thought Sin was overrated. Yeah, I know, right? Who said that? <laughs> Sinner decided enough was enough. That's it. That's it. That's it. Medi versus Nori would be a fun one? Maybe. Probably not, though. Actually, no, that won't be fun. It'll be boring as hell. That's going to be a boring grind. That's not going to be fun. There's going to be no winners in that match. Well, that match is... <laughs> Come on. Have you seen them play? Like, when they play individually against players that can... I mean, if that's just going to be, like, two guys just hitting the ball, like, side to side. I mean, that's not going to be... And probably Med Medi's probably going to win two and two, and it's going to be just like two hours for no reason. Like, you know what I mean? It's going to be just like a slow grind. Like, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand, error. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like that's not going to be fun at all. It's going to be two hours of Medvedev just winning 6 2 6 2. Zverev Nori was interesting in the AO. Yeah, but that's because Zverev hits the ball. He tries to go for winners, so that's a little different. Medi and Nori, I feel like that's just going to be a grind. Uh, Nori showed something against Rude. Yeah, true. I don't know. We'll see what's up. <clears throat> I don't plan on doing that one. Because, uh, to be honest, I kind of want to be ready for tomorrow. Like, tomorrow's going to be a bigger day. And it's already been a big day. We've streamed for, like, what, five hours plus earlier? Seven hours already today? We've already streamed for seven hours, so... I want to kind of, uh... Not stream all day. Um... Especially, like, Medi versus Nori just doesn't really... Like, Alcaraz, yes. Medi, Nori... Medi should win. I don't know. We've got a lot of we've got a lot more tennis to go, Chad, and it's only like day four. Or five. And I don't really want to be watching matches because no for no reason. But we'll see. If Shriantek wins in a minute, we'll probably be bored anyway. So <laughs> we might watch it if Shriantek wins in like half an hour. Yeah, I need to rest my voice. Just in case. These aren't even the good matches yet. We get we're not even good in the good part yet. Should what's the Vilch match? Did you not just hear what I said? <laughs> just, no? Not listening? Okay. Um I think a Naudi is more of a dark horse than Marajan, okay. Uh, have you seen the Indian Wells Ball Kid AMA on the subreddit? He said Nori is an asshole. Really? Why is that? Because he did, didn't sign his tennis ball or something? What's up? Dimitrov with a good comeback. Yeah. Very good comeback. What a ruin of post. 
Once this Runa posted something. Ah, so Runa says he should have pulled out of Miami. He shouldn't have played it. His energy levels were too low. Looking back, I should have pulled out. But it's always difficult because of preparation. Okay, so Runa was saying, what, he's sick or something, maybe? Seems like he was sick. Is that what he's saying? He was, he was ill? Is that what he's saying? That's a shame. Um, all right. Um, I don't remember what he said about Nori, but I remember he said Zverev shouted at the ball kids when he was losing. Okay. Fair enough. Was well, was always so sick. Yeah, I think a lot of players were getting sick. Maybe the weather change. I don't know. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe a lot of those things. Uh, why do you think we have so many upsets lately? I think this week it's because Indian Wells was last week and also the, the rain probably threw a lot of people off, I think. You know, probably threw a lot of players off. The schedules weren't, you know, they you know, everything got, kept getting moved. I think Runa is saying he has realized he needs to learn to manage his schedule. Oh, okay. That, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's like, you know, he maybe, yeah, maybe he was like, oh, I'll play Miami, and maybe the team were like, don't play. Um, but he probably thought, I have to play, right? So that's good. Am I wrong, or does the ATP have more upsets than the WTA in Miami? No, you're not wrong. There's more upsets on the men's side than the women's this week, so far. You've got Sabalenka, Jabur, and Zhang as the big upsets. And then on the men's side, you've got um rublev runa city pass so th it's even but that's weird because <laughs> usually it's like usually it's like you know no one on the men's side halfway through the tournament and then on the women's side it's like half the half of them right i mean zhang was an upset i don't i mean you can say maybe it wasn't an upset but sabalenka was definitely upset and um jabur also was was a surprise on the men's side, though, like Rublev, I mean, Runa getting smacked today. I didn't think that was going to happen. Fritz losing was pretty pretty shocking as well. So, yeah. Hey, Brent. Oh, you're there now. Rain. The rain made it so much more humid. You're in the air-conditioned Lacoste store now. Nice. Stay Stay cool. Stay cool. Yeah, Tommy Paul. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that that's another one. Jerry or Vilch? I think Vilch will beat Jerry. I think Jerry was lucky to get out of his match, and I think that Vilch will... Vilch did better than Jerry did in the last match. I'm going to go with Jerry. Oh, sorry, for Vilch. <laughs> I'm going to go with Vilch, not Jerry. <laughs> Didn't Tommy Paul get injured? He did, which was upsetting. It made people upset. Who's got the best forehand on the WTA? Probably Sabalenka. For power, right? Um, will Eager's match be the last match of the day, or do you have another one up to watch? Nah, that's probably going to be it. I, I want to just... We don't get a day off, so I've, and I haven't had a day off for months. So we're going to watch that and then just chill um, because tomorrow is going to be a big day. Like I said, we've got so many matches tomorrow. When the schedule comes out, we'll, we'll know better. But um, yeah, we're just going to watch Fiontech and Noskova and then call it a day just so I can uh, prepare for tomorrow. Yesterday was a massive day. I mean, they finished at like 1 a.m. In, in, in the actual tournaments, right? So... I'm not going to go to sleep. I just need to prepare stuff for tomorrow. Um, anyways, I'm going to send you guys over to the next one because I'm going to get some food while we have a break. And then I'll be back to watch Fiontech taking on Nozka in about, about 45 minutes. So uh, jump over here. 
talk amongst yourselves. And I'll be back to watch uh, the final match of the day, which is going to be a banger. Noskova, they, they, it's played twice. It's 1-1. And Sviantek does have to play her best here. Otherwise, Noskova, we know what she can do. We saw that in Australia. But uh, Sinner avoids disaster. 5-7-7-5-6-1. He takes the win in a close, couple of close sets, but then a third set blowout. He wins. He's into the fourth round. Uh, and Garcia also wins and beats Osaka. So two big wins there uh, to two of my players on my team. So let's go. Team Cam is uh, on fire.